and you've used a gleam as well yeah gleams on top so that's lifted the pattern i used um the carantha pay is it peony mold peony um, yes peony mold and also the heart mold to push those in and then once they were baked put the gleam on but obviously trying to get them baked as well because they were a bit hot isn't that incredible? That's the first time I think we've ever Thank done you. a polymer clay challenge um, um, on, on the show, which is amazing. Fiona's had a work cut out today. <laughs> so uh, just, just in essence, seven blocks of polymer clay, your three loads of gleam, and your um, clay balm as well. For 15 95 we've got the last 20 in stock. If I tell you, we started off with 190 of this bundle. Um, we've got less than 30 left, so, so do make it yours now. Um, Fiona, you've done so well today. It's been so Thank much you. fun having Fiona with us today. She's been amazing. Give her a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Hi, 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 hi. Coming up, the star of the um, designer inspired show. Hey, dude. The most incredible wire work elephant that Alison has made. I cannot wait to see how on earth she's made this because it is so beautiful. It's so intricate. It's incredible. Amazing. Make sure you tune in um, uh, for the designer inspired show. Go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, if you haven't got access to watching it on the television. Um, it's going to be fantastic. We've got the birthday show coming tomorrow. And you know, we've had like the birthday build up show today. It's going to carry on into the designer inspired show as well. The deals that we've got are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Fiona. It's been wonderful it's to have pleasure. you with us today. Thank you. So we've got Alison joining us. Um, oh, Becky. Oh, my days. Nelly. Nelly the elephant. Nelly the elephant. Today has been the most ridiculous show. We've got so much coming. Have you got a ridiculous show today? I've well? got so much. I've got over thirty Ooh. pounds worth saving on wire. I All of this. I've got yeah, over Ooh. thirty quid we're saving on that. Oh. Every one of the main gauges. Oh really? Yeah. So you get it as a whole part of a bundle. I've got a game higher or lower with that cool marine. I like it. Why not? Why not? It's birthday season. Have fun. You're going to have loads of fun on today's show. Alison's with you as well. Uh, so, so have loads of fun. I'll see you in a bit, Louise. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Design Inspiration. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. I cannot wait to show you exactly how we're going to be creating our wonderful Nelly the Elephant with the stunning Alison Harry today. I've got so many treats, deals, and goodies for you. In fact, I've got such a selection of gemstones just take a look. I've got bundles galore today, including this. One bundle. This is all coming as one bundle. And you know exactly what a bundle means. It means that when we're able to give you a large amount of gemstones in one, we're able to give you a cracking deal, able to give you a cracking discount. It's just like if you go to, uh, you know, big chain stores, say things like Costco and stuff, the more you get, the more you save. And that's exactly what Designer Inspiration is all about today. You're gonna have so, so much fun. We're getting really ready for the birthday season. So we're gonna get you to stay really interactive with us today. Give us some text messages in for the lovely Alison. Any questions? whether it's to do with wire work, something you've seen a create before, maybe you just want some hints and tips on how to get a really professional finish on your wire work or anything, any other medium really, do message us in. You can text us. 60777 is the text number. You start your text with the word JM Studio, that's one word, and they will wing their way to us today. How about we start with the wire actually? We're starting off, ready for the birthday show. We're getting you some cracking dealios in now. I have got 500 meters worth of wiring. Now this is our black wire. We have had so many people messages in recently saying they haven't seen black wire in ages. When's it coming back? What gauges have we got it in? Black wire I think is one of those that's such a classic, isn't it? It's gonna work for male jewelry, female jewelry, kids jewelry. You're gonna be able to make beautiful sculptural pieces from this, especially as you've got everything you need here. You've got your four mil, 100 meters, You've got your 0.25, 100 meters again. You've got your 0.8. You've got your 0.6. And you have got your one mil. So you've got everything you need here. You've got your structure with the one mil. You've got your ring making with the eight mil. You've got your findings making with the six mil. You've got your weaving with the 0.4. And my favorite personally for weaving, you've got your 0.25 as well. So everything you're gonna want here to create something is just amazing and in fact 
I think a lot of people were probably asking about this because of one of the uh, most recent times that Alison was on, she worked with a lot of Black Choir to create this absolutely mesmerising fan. All working with the black coloured wire that we've got. Hello Alison, Hello. how are you? I'm You're all, all mic'd up now. I am. So talk to us about this fan. What gauges did you use on this, if you can remember? Oh my gosh, I've slept since then. <laughs> I'm, I might be mic'd up, but I'm not switched on. Oh, you're mic'd oh, up, but you're not switched on. Uh, there you go, is that better? There we go, hello. Hello. Hello, <laughs> love. <laughs> so um, you, can you remember what gauges you used? It was definitely one mil and four mil. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember if there's another gauge in there. There might be some eight or there might be some eight or six. There might be some six in here. Just looking at it, yeah. so we're looking at about three gauges worth on this, aren't we? Really, yeah. it's so so beautiful. What do you think of black wire as a general? <gasps> love How does it. it to work with? What does it go with? Oh, black! I love it. it it's quite versatile because it'll go with the copper. Stunning with the copper. Not that I'm looking at Nelly. <laughs> um, it, it goes with a, well. Black goes with everything, doesn't it? It really does. And you can really, you can funk it up, you can make it quite um, steampunky, quite goth, but you can also have it quite chic if you've got it with some nice sparkly uh, quartz like those, um, the double uh, concave ones that were on last night's show. Oh my goodness. And you could do a oh, setting with that and it would look just that little bit different. Mm. So you, you, it's very versatile actually. It really is. It is like a staple. It's your little black yeah. dress, isn't it? It is. It, it is. is your little black dress. So this is called Blackout. 500 metres in total you're getting here. Ooh. I told you, it's going to be a massive saving. Should be price on this today is £97.75. Take off £20, you're not even close yet. Your price today for this is not £97.75. Your price today is a tiny £67.50. That's over £30 you're saving oh on this gosh. wire today. What do you think of that? That is phenomenal. Because you, you've got everything, you can cover every every eventuality with those those wires. Definitely. And black is brilliant as well if you've got the wire twister tool. You can twist with it, put something like the chartreuse with it or the pink with it, pink and black. It, fantastic. That is so that's, wonderful. That's a good deal, that. And the way I'm thinking of it now is, I'm just thinking per one, it's got to be, what, £13 something? £13.50 for Which 100 metres per reel. And yeah. you've got one mil in there. I was going to say, your one mil's 27, something 30, like something that, like it. that, isn't it? That is an absolutely showstarter of a deal. We like this a lot. £67.50 for blackout today there's plenty of you out there for it hello ladies and gentlemen i hope you're all having a fantastic day and you're getting ready for the birthday show alison yeah. are you excited about the birthday show oh, i can't wait i'm so excited can't you're not allowed people. to tell us too much no. but go on tell us something oh tell you something yeah go on just a little sneaky sneaky peeky oh gosh a i little don't idea, know a little clue what you might be doing what i might be doing yeah. i'm going around the twist going around the twist Ooh. Some people will say I'm already there, but... <laughs> That's a little sneaky hint. I love that so, so much. Honestly, tomorrow is going to be cray-cray. Whoa, loads of you out there. Hello, Greater Manchester. Hello, Swansea. Kent, another Greater Manchester. Laura, do you know Anna? You're both in Greater Manchester. Um, Yorkshire folk, Norfolk folk, Worcestershire folk. I've got loads and loads of you with it in your baskets. Always best to check out sooner rather than later, especially on deals like this. Because the way you have to think about it, when we put bundles like this together, we might have, say, a hundred of the one mil and, you know, a hundred of the 0 0.8, but we might actually only have, say, 40 of the 0 0.25, which means we can actually only do 40 bundles, if you see what I mean. The lowest um, amount of one we can get to bundle it all together, we might not have that many. So it's best to get it now whilst you can, with over a 30 pound saving as well it is going really quickly this is flying out apparently i've got a fair view on the phone as well is there a queue did you say 
tiny bit of a queue, but we are getting around to you in the call centre, so do stay exactly where you are. Got some text messages. Already? <laughs> Already, yeah. Wow. It's you, Alison. <laughs> Bowing to Alison. We are not worthy. No. no. Don't. <laughs> Please don't. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Around oh. Morrison's. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for that, Sue. This is from Susan in Lancashire. Afternoon. I have a problem getting my wire very straight. Any tips? Um, nylon, yep. nylon tip wires. Uh, nylon tip pliers. And and basically, draw it through. And you'll find most people do that, so it tends to have a curve on it. So you just have to. It's practice, really, and you just bend it the other way. Right. But use your nylon tip pliers to get it straight. Isn't it funny, Susan? When you get nylon jaw pliers with a tool for less than a tenner today, stay Ooh. tuned, Susan. Yeah, I've got some oh, answers fun. today. I know, because they've been out of stock for yonks. I know, they didn't have any last time no. I was on. We do we now. Susan, you little mind reader. It's coming with a tool as well, and it's going to be under a tenner. And you know when I say under a tenner, I don't mean 5p. <laughs> I've had a question about what? Silver wire. I've got some coming up for you today. Could JM do bundles in silver plate, like the black bundle, mm. please? Now, I have got a silver plate one. It's not 500 metres, but I have got a bundle. Is it 200 metres worth? 200 metres worth off the silver, so do stay tuned for that. That's coming up in a little bit. Again, another crack-a-lacking discount on that for you. Um, Yorkshire, Derbyshire, Carm... What's that one say there, Alison? Carmarthenshire. Carmarthenshire. Now you say it, it's obvious. Um, <laughs> Essex, Yorkshire, Berkshire, loads of you coming in for this. Oh, hello, Cheshire chick. Hello, Gillian. How are you, my love? Isn't it funny that when I see, do you get this? When you see people who live in the same county as you, you're like, oh yeah, best friends, totally. Someone came up from Flintshire last time I was on. I was like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> do, do, do I know it? Do I know it? <laughs> uh, you've got a whopping discount on this today. There's loads and loads of you getting yourself on the phone lines for this today. Over £30 saving on this most elegant beautiful jet wire for you today everything you need one mil eight mil six mil four mil and you're not two five I've got a few naughty deals on today, Alison. Oh, yeah. Mm. I caught some naughty deals yesterday. I'd spent a bit too much money. Did you? Yeah. What did you buy yesterday? I bought the birthday strand. Did well, you? Well, I bought three of the birthday strands, actually. Oh, that's, that's all right. <laughs> it would have been rude not to, really. Totally true. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. All the guest designers were out yesterday. <laughs> Sammy was on so, buying yeah. a few and things Gemma as well. On. And Gemma was on <laughs> buying a few things. Can't keep them away. <laughs> For, uh, you've got 60 nice. carats on this rose quartz. It's your graduated plain rondelles. I've got to say, I love a good rondelle. I really, really do. There's something about it. It just gives you this gorgeous undulation across your pieces, which is just so remarkable. This is going to be something a bit naughty. What would you think of doing with this strand, Alison? Well, because you've got the black there, mm. I'd put that with black and it very, very art deco. Yep. You're completely right, I can Very see that. Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, because it's just like, it's a case of that rose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it might bring out the pink, doesn't it? It really does, that. that really intensifies, doesn't it? It's lovely. So what would you think of making with these, like Art Deco styling? I'd, yeah, I'd go for quite a statement piece, probably, but then I do do well. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> stating the obvious yeah. by Alison <laughs> Sarri. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of statement piece? I love looking at um, architecture and design from different periods and mm. I'll get inspiration from there if I'm looking for a period piece mm. and, I, and I'll look at buildings I mean everyone knows I love I love looking at railings yeah. I'm very sad <laughs> you know I've got a book of all these railings yeah, yeah. <laughs> no you, I haven't you've, you've, almost that, you've actually got a book <laughs> no, yeah. not of railings <laughs> I've got railing designs that I've copied but not not actual you know here's one from down the street and yeah. this one's <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah and, and I'd look around and and see what bits of design you like about it because there's there's fun and then just tweak it and put your own 
I don't mean jewellery, I mean anything to do with the deco period. Yeah. So you've got all the ornaments they used to have, all the structure, all the architecture and the, the interior design. There's some fantastic forms and quite iconic forms that, that are repeated all through everything for Art Deco. Yeah. I love it. And do you know what you mean? When I think Art Deco, I think um, swoops, I think um, kind of, you know, the, if you think, if you archways think, almost like the fan, so you've got it coming down like that, step down in yes, it. Yes, yeah, yeah that and then kind you usually have a, a, a colour, so you, it's very, it's very monochromatic. Yeah, it is. So you'd have either black or silver or gold, and then power colour. Yeah. But that sort of thing, and then you, if you had the black, that that would really show up the uh, rose the quartz. The rose quartz. This is a little bit naughty, I've got to say. Do you know what? It's the birthday weekend. We've been absolutely looptastic this weekend. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we can. Management aren't in till tomorrow. <laughs> and even uh -oh. then, they'll all be so happy and hyper, probably, from all the sweets everyone's bringing in, that it won't matter. You are getting deals galore this weekend, including this little beauty for just... Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. £4.95 <laughs> pence is the price on this today. A lengthy strand as well. Mm. No spaces. Gemstone upon gemstone upon gemstone. What do you think? Lovely. That, that, that's a good deal because that's a nice strand, that. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's, a, it's a, quite an unusual shape for a rondelle. It's, it's sort of pointy. It's a little bit different, yeah, which is it nice. Is. It is, it's almost bicone, actually, isn't it? Some yeah. Some of them. Yeah. Almost. Like a plain bicone, yeah. in a sense, because the... the the kind of outline is is quite a jut, isn't it? Which mm. is nice. But it's nice to have an unusual shape, isn't it? Mm. Four pounds ninety five as well for genuine gemstones. What can you buy for four ninety five now? Not a lot. Bunch of flowers. A JM DVD. A JM DVD. <laughs> Very good point to make. Very good point. Yeah. But not a lot else. <laughs> Speaking of DVDs got a dvd tomorrow which i'm sure you've all seen mm. yeah we've had adverts for it pip's just got to be allowed to mention that yeah we've had adverts <laughs> going for it will you feature on said dvd i might be on said dvd one uh, of them take that as a yes <laughs> one of them one. Oh, um four pounds and 95 pence again double buyers on this today hello all of you lovely ladies and gents denbyshire hi you wendy that's next door county. Oh, is it? Conway. Hi, Wendy. Everyone Welsh is coming out. Conway. Uh, Hello. Con Sorry. Conway. Con uh, are you one of these people who's <laughs> like your county and then every other county around you? It's North Wales. It's home. I love that. Exactly. Cheshire's next door. Shropshire's near. You know. Just all of you. It's north. Yeah. All of you. Hello everyone, Anna, Tracy, hello lovely people. Four pounds and 95 pence for this today. It's an absolute stunner of a deal and tell you what, if you like that price, you want to stay tuned. Uh -oh. I might have something else in a similar region. <laughs> or the same. Who knows? Or less, maybe. Don't want to give too much away. <laughs> Four pounds 95 for you today. How are you feeling about a challenge today? I'm up for a challenge today. This is a pretty serious challenge. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, I've never seen you work with anything like this before. Ooh, no, I've not worked with that before. <laughs> no. That'll be good. How funny. What does this look like? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a snake, because it's green. And that's, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Ooh, or, or like this. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't that you? good? <laughs> Snake charmer. You have got... <laughs> I was in hold well, This is just what we do, isn't it? Um, you have got the... <coughs> well, stretch... It. Are you all right, Alison? Yeah. Would you like to have... You can have a go in a bit. I'll pass <laughs> over in a bit. You can have a go. This is called Tubalicious. And this is your rubber tubing. You all right there, Pete? Yeah? yeah? Do you want to have a go, Pete? Yeah? All right, come on then, Pete. No, no, no he's all right, he's changed his mind. Are you afraid of the snake? Pete, Pete, it's not a real snake, mate. It's just a bit of rubber tubing. You're all right, it's fine. 
You have got here Tubalicious. This is your 5M rubber tubing you're getting here. It's a metre of each and the thickness on this is around 7.60 mil. You've got your snake green. You've got this beautiful deep chocolatey brown here as well. Those go gorgeously together actually. Mm. They go really well because it's, um, what is it, like outdoorsy, foresty. foresty. Forestry. You've got your baby pink. You've got your navy blue. And you also have, wow, that's going to wake you up, bright orange rubber tubing. Now, these are actually in different thicknesses. So let me just let you know exactly what it is. The orange is the 5.8 mil. The pink, this is in uh, thickness, the pink <laughs> is the 8.5 mil. The brown is 7.6 mil. The electric blue is 8.2 mil. And the green is 8.15 mil. So you have got different thicknesses here ranging. So if I just show you sort of comparisons between them, um, you've got here the orange, the blue, pink next to that you'll be able to see it a little bit better because there is quite a difference in these so this is your challenge Thank your you. price today should have been 24 pounds and 75 pence for all of these today that should have been your price oh no we won't stay there Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. It's all right, that, isn't it? Cheaper than a snake charmer, isn't it? <laughs> that? Sneak. <laughs> what do you think of these? Have you worked with them before, Alison? No, I've never worked with them before. I'm going to have to make a snake now. This is a true <laughs> challenge, isn't it, then? It is. I love it this, though. Challenge. It's strong. It's durable. I've seen a few mm. um, guest designers mm. working with this. Sometimes it's a bit of a talk. I've seen Viking knit around them as well. It's nice smooth on your skin as well. It's really lovely. And if you're allergic to some metals, then having that on your skin, it, it's you an know, alternative, isn't yeah. it? Any ideas pop into your mind? I might play with a bit of wire around it. Love. Um, I might do a bit of a talk or a, or a choker necklace. Oh, I really like that idea. Yeah. A couple of bracelets. Oh, you're setting yourself a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Tubalicious for nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. It's really strong. It's flexible. It's durable, and really, you can just let your imagination go wild with this. I should go wild. Go wild, Alison. Why not? Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence for five meters worth of that rubber tubing today. I have got something. <coughs> Sorry. Alison, what are you doing, love? Is that a chopping board? I was just thinking, why have we got a chopping board here? Why is there a chopping board just chilling under there? Okay. All right. You know, for snacks. As you do. For the crudite. <laughs> making of crudite. Which is carrot chopped up. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you have got something that I've got to be honest, I haven't seen these in quite a while. Pearls. I really haven't. Hard to get hold of. I told you this um, a few months ago, didn't I? In fact, that film's out now. If you haven't seen it, it's actually been nominated for an award, hasn't it? It's been nominated for some sort of film award. It's called Vanishing Pearls. And it came out in April. And it has been nominated for some sort of film award. I saw that. I can't remember what it is. Um, but it's basically to do with the film itself. Is to do with pearls and uh, natural disasters and human-made disasters, which has basically um, meant that it's harder and harder to get your hands on pearls right now. So it talks about things like tsunamis. It talks about things like the very famous, relatively recent um, oil spill that occurred in... And it basically talks about how the amount of pearls has dropped dramatically by around... Oh, look! Gosh, Ryan, you're quick on the slides. I love it. According to reports, the yield of pearls in China has decreased by 60% in the last four years, which is a huge, huge amount. 
And if we have a look at the yield, you'll be able to see there that if we take the graph, that's brilliant. 2010, you can see the yields are coming up the side. By 2013, look how dramatically that's dropped. That's 60% drop. And this year, for 2014, it's said to drop even more. Now, up to this, it was reported that the price um, has risen by a whopping 40% from September to November 2013. 2014, by the end of the year, that is said to drop between around 20 to 30% on top of the 40% already. If you haven't seen the film, do keep your eyes peeled for it. And like I say, it has been nominated for an award. But of course, when the um, amount drops, if your yield drops and no one can get hold of it anymore, of course, it becomes rarer. And we all know the rarer something is, the higher the price it often is as well. So the price I'm about to show you on this, genuinely, it's not going to be one that you're going to see that often anymore it's really really not truly isn't not just from us from anywhere pearls they've always been luxurious they've always uh, been seen as you know uh, very high end very high priced anyway but that price is just set to skyrocket especially with the size we're dealing with here we all know the bigger the pearl the bigger the price and these are 11 by 10. now what we say is for the mollusk to um, build up enough nectar to create the pearl, it takes per mill around a year to create. So if we're working with 11 to 10 uh, mil on these, these have taken mother nature around 10 to 11 years to create per pearl. And when you think of it like that, that is such a huge amount of time. The price on these today Wow, seven pounds and 95 pence. When I brought to you 10 and 11 mil, I'm normally thinking 20, 21, 24 pounds. I'm never thinking 795. I've got double buyers out there. This is your gorgeous champagne color as well. It's so vintage, it's super, super super bridal this is such an exceptional strand for you seven pounds and 95 pence and do you know what do your research on pearls have a little look around see exactly what prices we're dealing with and do you know what i know this sounds a little bit strange but what i would do is have a little look around now at the prices of pearls maybe if you're looking at it on your laptop or your deck uh any uh your um, phone or something take a picture of the screen with the prices that you find in I know it sounds really odd and then look back in six months time because I'm so so telling you that price is gonna be hiked massively 50% of my stock has gone on these already uh, I have got oh hello Pat Pat in Menorca oh. I love Pat in Menorca. Every time you're on Pat, the boy's in the ear. Not unlike the people talking to me through my earpiece. I always think, <laughs> the people in my head, the boys who are sitting in my ear. Um, the people, my producer and my director always say, oh, Pat in Menorca's here. We love it, we love it. Do you know what? I think I might have more double bite, two left. Oh, whoa. We'll have to move on. Oh, one left. It's gone. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Sadly, what I will tell you is probably about three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve-ish people missed out on that. Then just with it checking in your basket, so imperative you check out. But don't worry, I've got loads of deals like that coming up. Oh. And what are we thinking? Normally in fire opal you'll see very hot colors of course uh, you'll see uh, sometimes there'll be such a range of colors on there but they're all sort of uh, dotted around quite similar a lot of the time we're looking at opaque fire opal aren't we now look at this clarity in fire opal is a true treat for you. Now, we all know how I feel about Opal. 
if Opal was a man, it would be my sort of Brad Pitt. Do you know what I'm saying, Alison? <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel about Opal. I just think it's so beautiful. And honestly, serious clarity on this strand. Isn't that exceptional? No, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not fair because I love that strand. I love that this is graduated in colour mm, as well. Stunning. This, to get clarity in Fire Opal, is seriously special. Fire Opal, of course, I always think it mimics the land in which it is, uh, you know, gathered. This is, of course, Mexican Fire Opal. And it's taken um, from huge volcanic regions way up in the mountains, sometimes 50 meters worth into the ground. And it's almost these winding, twisting, turning, beautiful, heavy drop um, pathways that you walk through to collect this. To get clarity and this much fire in Fire Opal is not to be missed, especially when you see this price. £34.95. This is serious quality for you. This is the most, I think I'll be safe in saying, luxurious strand of Fire Opal I have ever seen. And truly to get it at such an exceptional price is something not to be missed. Make sure you print off your authenticity for this, or of course, call, talk to the call center. You can get your um, little plastic copy of that sent to you if you so wish. 25 carats, Fire Opal, graduate Graduated rondelles. It's stunning. I love it. It's yours for £34.95. After this break, we are joining the wonderful Alison and Nelly. See you then. This Sunday, join us on Jewelry Maker as we celebrate our fourth birthday. We've got a jam packed show in store featuring many of our guest designers to share their knowledge and skills, and we'll be introducing you to some brand new products, new tools, exclusive strands brand new DVDs and much, much more. So join us this Sunday and help us to celebrate this very special day, Jewelry Maker's fourth birthday. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis, so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Happy Sunday! Jewelry Maker! Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Hi everyone. My name's Liz Welch, I'm a guest designer here at JM and I want to wish JM a very happy birthday, happy fourth birthday. I've been with JM for nearly three years and I've enjoyed the journey every step of the way. Happy birthday. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. I am so excited <laughs> and I just can't hide it. That kind of, that didn't start off with that song, <laughs> but it went in that direction. <laughs> Hello, lovely Are you all right? I haven't seen you for ages. I know we were just saying that. It has been a while, hasn't it? Last time I was on with you, what were we making? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's ages ago. It's ages. Weeks and weeks, yeah. months and months. Too long. It is. I won't take it, it personally. <laughs> You I have no control. <laughs> <laughs> you have made gorgeous Nelly, Nelly, who I absolutely adore. Can we take a close look at this little treat that you're going to learn how to make today? Look, Annie's got 
A little wackily tail. Is that been fun? Look. <laughs> I don't know. Elephants wag their tails when they're happy. I don't know. No, I don't think they do. I think that's only dogs, isn't it? Well, dogs do, but I don't know about uh, Don't they just elephants. use it to swat? I don't know. We'll find out for you. Yeah. Because I know that many of you at home are now... Wondering. Wondering. <laughs> look at him and look at his little face. Now, uh, I should have asked you this earlier. Go on. Is this modelled on a specific elephant? Well, because it's... Jaipur and India. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be an Indian elephant, but it's a bit cosmopolitan. There's a little bit of an African leg going on there, and there's a little bit of an African ear bit going on there. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so it's, so, it's so, a unique. It, it's, elephant. it's unique. It's a cosmopolitan. It's African elephant went to visit India. Oh, I love that. <laughs> now, elephants. Loads of people adore yeah. elephants, don't they? It seem very much as good luck, isn't it? Yeah, something to do with the tusk turning up. Uh, the tusk, the, the trunk turning trunk. up. Yeah, the trunk. <laughs> Mum did tell me, but I was too late to turn it all the way up. So, yeah, it's, not, it's probably similar to a horseshoe because if you have it that way up, it catches the luck. Mm. And if you have it upside down, the luck all drains out. It might be the same Wow. with the trunk. I think that's just beautiful. <laughs> and we've had a message sent in. All oh, right. Uh, from Facebook. Oh. Lin Belinda. Belinda Norris. Oh. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> How long has that taken? That would have taken more than a week. That <laughs> is huge. It's enormous, isn't it? Gorgeous. It's enormous, yeah. Pip's saying that's your next challenge, Alison. <laughs> I might need See more than 100 you. metres. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is so, so beautiful. Your ideas that came into this, did you go straight to this form of doing it? Did you have a little play before? Um, no, I, I research shape and form and then come up with a, a template to use mm -hmm. to, to do the wire. And then you tweak it as you go along. Um, so yeah, I start with, because basically, you're looking at elephants and unfortunately we don't have one in the back garden that I can go out and, and look at so you're looking at flat images so mm -hmm. you have to look at it from all directions yeah and then you have to tweak it because if you just copy a shape flat it won't work no it won't work for 3d no of course because the bits are all in the wrong place all in the wrong areas, so yeah. so you have to then tweak it um but yeah it, it, it pretty much how it came off and the thing I love about your work in general is you always go that extra mile. Have you seen that you can actually take off all of the ceremonial dress on this elephant? If I just take off the back section, look, you can t take off the front section as well, the headpiece. I just think that's something extra special yeah. that I absolutely adore about this. And if you want to go that one step further, but I ran out of time. Go you on. could make the howder to go on top as well. You know, the little... Oh, the <laughs> seating position. Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. So and I can't wait work. to see People... one of those Brilliant. with a howder, please. Oh, please, on Facebook. definitely. <laughs> Not Facebook, on Wall of Fame. Wall of Fame. This is so, so beautiful. We're going to bring you the gemstones for it in a wee while, but first off, I'm going to bring you the wire. Now, you've done copper colour. Why did you go for copper colour? Well, I wanted it to be a metallic, because we haven't got an elephant colour. No, and I didn't want it. <laughs> funnily enough, Just and I didn't, write that yeah. to do list. Get elephant, <laughs> get color get elephant wire. colors. <laughs> and I didn't want it to be a, a coloured colour. Mm. I, I suppose we could have made a pink elephant, but <laughs> <you don't laughs> a dumbo. So, so I went for something that would contrast and give us a nice look with the beads. And and I love working with copper wire. Absolutely adore it. What is it about copper? Oh, I don't know. I love the colour. Mm. I love the colour. It has got a gorgeous warmth yeah. to it, and your wire just works so well with these gemstones. You've got in here your 1 mil, 100 metres, and you've got your 0.4 mil as well in here. So why these two gauges? 1 mil for the structure. When you're doing, when you're doing structural pieces like this, you might get away with 0.8, but it's a, it is flimsier. Mm -hmm. You need the 1 mil to be able to have the, the curves in it and for it to hold. Yes. The 0.4 you could wrap with 0.6 but you wouldn't have to have sore hands and also it's that chunkier so so the 0.4 is is not almost invis invisible but it mm. it minimizes you seeing it mm -hmm. but it's that much stronger than the 0.25 yeah. so that's why i do a lot of work with those two wires having said that with the bundle earlier 
I mean, I now use 0.8 and 0.6 a lot more than I ever did. Really? Yeah. Is that just after playing with it? Yeah, because I, I when I first started doing wire work, because I didn't have much money, I had to go for what I could what I could afford, mm. and point point one point naught mil and the point four, you can do most things. Mm -hmm. The point four can double up as point six at a push. Yes. The the one mil can double down to point eight. At so push again. yeah. You could make do, but sometimes trying to do what you do in point eight with the one mil is quite tough on your hands, yes. and vice versa. The point four doesn't have that structural stuff. So, so having the bundle with all of it in is fantastic. But those are my staples. If I could only have two wires, it would be this one mil be and point four. Well, you want to get in today then, because the price on these, we're doing a special design inspiration deal. You're getting two hundred meters of wire. Your one mil and your zero point four should be. £42.90 for these two today. But it's designer inspiration. You know we do you great deals. If you want to create this elephant, you need to get your hands on this today. You won't be paying £42.90. We're going to take off. Nine pounds? Nah, let's round it up to ten. Ten pounds saving on this today. Thirty-two pounds and ninety pence for you to be able to create this. That's fantastic. How much of this did you use for the elephant? About. I know it's hard to. Not not judge. tons. Not tons. Probably, probably over the ten mil by the time I'd finished doing all the bits and yeah. playing of the one meter. But that of the one mil, one, one, one meter one wire, meter wow thickness. that's tough <laughs> um, and not not that much of the copper mm -hmm. but they're so versatile and, and you do so much and I was intending originally to do it bigger mm -hmm. um, but I scaled it down a bit um, so yeah you could you could you could well <laughs> yeah, I don't think you quite manage the life-sized one we <laughs> saw but, <laughs> but you could certainly do if you wanted to do a substantial one you've got enough wire to do it so if we get saying you know you're suggesting that we use maybe to play it safe 12 13 meters yeah. of each let's say to be safe so you could make yourself a little herd oh you could couldn't oh, you have yeah. them all could you have a little baby on? one at the back <laughs> oh I, I love it Hey, you know they actually do that. Oh yeah, they do when they're I walking along. I adore it. When I worked at the zoo and I saw it for the first time, I was like, oh my goodness, they properly hold on. Amazing. I, do. I love it. Um, £32.90, £10 saving. Where are we going to start? Right. So we're going to start with, with the drawing. Okay. Right. So what I did, and I think they photographed this, so it'll go yeah, up on, it'll go up on um, Facebook. Yeah, thank you. So I know they don't look that elephant-like. <laughs> Mm. And it is quite rough, excuse my rubbishy drawings. Mm. So so these are all the bits you need, the outlines. Okay. Okay. So mine is, is slightly moving because I always like to have a bit of movement in the elephant. So the legs aren't both straight, straight. down. But you can you can tweak those once you've cut it out, you can you can move it fairly easily mm. all the way through up you know, even now you could tweak the legs in position. Um we've got two different sizes of ears. Okay. <laughs> Just, I think that one probably worked out a little bit too big for this one, okay. so I actually went for that size. But you could do, you could do there and then scale it down a bit if you wanted bigger ears than he's got, she's got, or mm -hmm. you could do it smaller. And then this is the belly because if you had it shut together, it would be, although it would be bulby, it would be quite a, a 2D bulby yes, if that makes sense. I do know what it, you it mean. It wouldn't be quite so so spread out. Mm. So what we have to do is basically make our outline okay so with the one mil wire and I I know it's a bit wasteful um, but I do cut it off the roll because it's quite difficult to to maneuver that when you're trying to follow it around here that gets in the way okay so you can use sellotape to stick it on and anything you get left over of this you just make into scrolls so you, it's not really wasteful okay so I I put the overlap bit underneath the tummy where you're not really going to see it. Okay. So kink the bit, we'll do, we'll do this one. If you kink there, now what I would tend to do, if you're not used to doing this, put a piece of sellotape over it. Okay. But I'll, I'll use my fingers and follow it. What you're doing is you're holding the wire at points where, like there, where there's a bend, you're going to hold them. Now where you've got a sharp bend, yeah. use I'd use your pliers. 
So excuse my hand coming in the way for a minute. Yeah, don't worry at all. Okay, so I'm going to turn that that way. And this is why you have it off the reel, because you can imagine that with the reel on the end Fighting of this. Fighting against yeah. it constantly. You'd be and then you. bend up there, and literally you're just following it. Now what you'll find is when I let go of this, oh, that one's now staying, it <laughs> tends to spring back a bit. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Do you need to keep it in that place or do you just worry about that later? You'll, when you get it, when you come all the way back around to here again and you hold the two pieces together, because what you stay. also find is, well, for me, the way I do it, is it starts bending up so you get, if I move that out of the way, it's almost on different planes. I see, yeah. If you're sellotaping it down, it'll, it'll protect from that. Mm -hmm. But I. Tip. But it, you, you flatten it afterwards. So you're going to follow this and I'm going to do it very quickly so it's not going to be... A perfect elephant That's all right. but like I say as you're doing it when you're actually making the um, elephant together you end up tweaking it anyway because I have yet to do and I've done quite a few sculptures I have yet to get two halves exactly the same mm. because they're always slightly different so you always have to make sure they meet each other so again we're at the t trunk and because it's quite a sharp turn and we don't want a massive one all right let's have a look make sure we haven't gone miles out of our way so you're just referring back each time yeah you? just double checking yeah. like I say if you've sellotaped it and I don't think it would stick in the studio to be fair if you've sellotaped it it's not a problem um, but if you if you don't you just follow it round and just keep checking back tweak it round to the front do his front leg and then we're back to his belly again yeah okay right so we chop him off by there now do you see what I mean about yes I see. yeah <laughs> it's uh, so all we do is we bend that back down to there and then using a bit of um, point four just tack it into place so that's going to be taken off. Yeah. It doesn't have to be neat. Those those who know me from before, I have a bit box. Yes. So any scraps of point four wire go, go in, in a there. bit box for stuff like this. Yeah. And if and if I've if I've used like this piece, will get recycled for for putting in scrolls or anything like that. It's a great thing with wire, isn't oh, it? Yeah. It's wonderful. So it it looks awful like that but you can almost you can see a bit more of an elephant shape yes, coming on there can't you can. definitely mm. definitely right so we do that with all the shapes okay if i take me well i'll leave my piece of paper there okay. and we get i've put that in the wrong place you see oh, we yeah, get a rough one of those so that's Oops. for the underneath of yep. the belly and that's the other thing if you are doing your legs yeah sorry that's if you are doing your legs differently yeah. make sure you do one of each and not two the same yeah <laughs> to get the walking yeah. effect yeah the moving effect and then you want two of your ears yeah and like I say it doesn't matter if that's not followed that line exactly no. it doesn't matter because you can play with this when you're putting it next to it the way you've put your scrolls on you might tweak it out a bit you might tweak it in, in a bit yeah so don't panic if it's not precise it's fine you can do that in a yeah bit later. absolutely fine Fab. Okay, so those are the main bits we need for the body of the elephant. Okay. Obviously, you need two ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be cruel, not to. It would have been a bit harsh, actually. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to start filling them in. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you. I said I was going to do a bigger one, so that was my template for the bigger one. I see. Okay. Now, now all I've done is taken the same picture and enlarged it. You can either do it on a photocopier, you could do it on, on a computer. on your computer mm -hmm. and then print it out bigger. And the same for a baby one, you print it out smaller. Oh. And you can do it whatever size you, you, you feel like doing then. That's brilliant. Okay, so and he would be quite it doesn't look much in size, but it's amazing how much more filling in and stuff there is involved. So he will get com completed at some point. Okay. That's Daddy Elephant. That's Daddy. Right. So we want to fill it in. Most of the body is filled in with scrolls. Okay. They're nice and easy to do. You need a piece of wire. You can do it while you're on the reel, if you want. Um, 
I tend to try and snip this. Can you see where you've cut this with a, well, I, I did it with my flush cutter pliers. You always get an angle. I don't know whether you'll be able to, to see that. Yeah, I see. There's a sharp bit, and I always like to have a flush end, so I just find it tidier. I, mm. They go in my bit box as well. I'm waiting to get my ton to go and get me copper scrap. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> no, it's worth doing. We're up to sweet, I think we're on our third sweetie tin full of strap. Whoa, <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> so, a simple, I'll try and do it this way to the camera. So, it, it, it's a lot easier than, than, than trying to do it this way to the camera. Yeah. Okay, so a bit of a squirrel. Then I tend to move the wire around as well as turn the pliers a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing these quite big just so you can see them. So, all that's been done with the direction of the wire because it's come off as a coil. Now, we want to do one in the opposite direction, but if you tend to do it with the wire coiled that way, yeah. it that's where you get, it. sometimes it, it goes a bit square because it corners. I know what you mean. So what you have to do, just using your fingers or a, a, a nylon pliers, is just gently run your fingers down and now we've got the wire saying we curve the other way. Okay, so snip off a bit. If you do want your nylon jaws pliers, I'm doing it with a tool, mm -hmm. less than a tenner, about just after two, just after two o'clock, between two and a half past. And, then and I've got my silver wire coming as well. That's the only trouble about being on here. You miss all the good deals. I know, that's the only thing. That's what everyone always says. Yeah. Why am I not at home now? <laughs> and there you've got your simple scroll. Beautiful. Um, you need quite a few. Now you can do them, that's quite big, so that will actually fill so it's, uh, quite a bit of that area. Yeah, so you can do whatever size you yeah. want to go for really. And, I mean there, there's a variety in Nelly, there's a right a variety of sizes, but if you wanted to do it, obviously there's less wrapping, with the bigger the scroll, the less wrapping there is, so yes. that's quite a big one. Um, a lot that I've done are more that kind of size so you can see you're going to have an awful lot more wrapping to do because you've got to use a lot more to fill yeah okay so to wrap it on again we're back to our 0.4 wire I get told off for being cluttered I do do you yeah. I think that's quite a creative thing though oh good yeah <laughs> oh, I'll stick up <laughs> uh. I go home and he says you, you your workspace was untidy again. I get told that yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh no, I mean here. Mess everywhere. It's messy. <laughs> Always mess. Yes, it's because I'm a creative person. It's how my mind works. Oh, well, we're both, both of our workstations are, are a mess at home. So. Oh really? Oh, that's not too bad then. Yeah, that's not <laughs> so bad. Right, so all I've done is I've held one piece. Sorry, I did that without thinking. <laughs> we were talking. No, it's good. So I've held a tail just between the two wires, just held it wrapped round four times and then I'm going to come between the scroll and the frame yeah. and I'm pulling it quite tight and then I'm going to do the same with that side. Now when I've done other projects like this people have, have found they start getting sore tips of their fingers. A you could use your pliers to pull it, Not you don't yank it with your pliers, I mean you can pull quite strongly with your fingers and you're never going to break the wire yeah. but if you really put force on the pliers you could do um, but you could use the pliers but if you leave a decent amount of tail yeah it's less likely to hurt your fingers it's when you've got teeny weeny little bits of wire and you're trying to turn it through that'll start getting to your fingers yeah. so leave plenty of wire and let's face it you've got 100 mil you ain't going to run out you're not going to run out of 100 meters okay. are you no so i put it in i'm just going to squish, squish and then squeeze it together because I'm a neat nick. Don't have to do that, that's just me. And then you've got a neat little scroll, yeah. yeah? Now these tails, this, oh, do you know what? I've had flush cutters pliers before and I said this last time when I was on with Jenny, these are amazing. They're because, favorites. oh, well, my last ones had broken fortuitously, and yeah. I managed to get some. It was the third time they were on the show, and I managed to get some. 
I found that she is coming up today. I saw her, I believe. Yeah. I know, my mum's after some of those. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, and you can get right in there, and you, you feel that you it's cannot so feel nothing. at all. No. And if you did, I'll, I'll leave it so you can. There's, there's a teeny weeny little bit. I don't know whether you'll be able to. Yeah, I can see just kicking up at the end. Yeah. Yeah. You can actually get right in and just trim that off. Seamless. Amazing. The, uh, oh, the, sorry. I go on about them, but I am so impressed with them. They are fantastic. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. So, right. All we've got to do then is we start wrapping and you fill your gap full of them. Now, how I've got that is flat. What you've got to do is bulb it. To give it its body to shape. To give it its body shape. Mm. And when, you, when you're adding them on, just push it out a bit. If you left it flat and then pushed it, these would all distort. Yeah, it'd be too tight yeah. on the frame. So after you've added one, just make sure you tweak it a bit and push okay. it out. And they will, once you've got a couple on there, they'll hold each other up and Brilliant. you can start building it. Brilliant. So we end up... Yes, you can see so how it's just... It's just, this one's quite a, a shallow one. He needs a bit more meat on his bones. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> a skinny little one, this one. He's been on a diet. So this has got all the scrolls in. Yeah. Now again, there's a bit of a gap there because it ended up with a funny shape. I'm not worried about that. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. You'll have. They don't fit perfectly. It's an odd shape. Yeah. So you can't. You can't fit them in. You could do a teeny weeny little one if you wanted to by there. You know, quite easily. But because you've got it on the other side. Yeah. You can't really you're, tell you're at not all. Gonna, can you're you? not going to notice you're that. Really not. You're not going to notice that. So, we've got our side, we do the same for the tummy. Um, the so this is the underbelly. This is the, the underbelly. Elephant. Right, which I did correctly. So, it's quite thin there. Now, what I did was I did some big scrolls to go in the belly just to give it, just to spread it a little bit. Uh, that way, there you go. And then I've put a slight bend on it yeah just so you can see yeah I see the little kick up yeah now that will go underneath and we'll have to make it into a bigger kick up because that will go underneath there eventually underneath his neck yeah okay and just just down to the beginning of his trunk but we'll come back to that okay. so we've got we've got our scrolls in before you start <laughs> Unlike me, I, I put him together before I, before I put his ears in. I would recommend we add the ears before we put him together. Okay, all right. So Did you find it a bit fiddly? It was a bit fiddly. Did okay. you? Okay, so for the ears, I've, I've just done a simple wire wrap. Mm -hmm. I had a blank one here somewhere. Um, Pip's just asked me to bring in the black wire. Apparently, we've had someone messaging in about it. Um, uh -huh. This is the one with the over thirty pound saving. You had a hundred meters of the one mil, a hundred meters of the eight, a hundred of the zero point six, a hundred meters of the zero point four, and a hundred of the zero point two five. Should have been ninety seven ninety five. Oh, I love copper that. and black. Stunning. How fab would that be? Yeah. Sorry, I whizzed that away, didn't I? Price today is sixty-seven pounds fifty. How about go on? Okay, full of combination. Doing a say um, copper frame. Yeah, and then doing a weaving. Yeah, you could black. like the ears. The ears, yeah, you could certainly use it for different colours, and I do do that. I use combinations of wire mm. because colour-wise, you you can play with it and you can get so much from it. Yeah. And and the the black with the copper, I think, is amazing. Yeah. But yeah, if you've got a frame and I've done this, I wouldn't weave it quite as close as I've done this one because you'd want to see the black, and if I did that, you wouldn't see any you of the black see through. So where yeah. where I do it is, you know, where you have um, I call like six and two or two and two, where you're going I mean, around a couple of strands. 
you go around one more than the other yes yes and then you'll see the black poking through now that, that looks idea. fantastic with mm -hmm. different colored wires and i use that kind of weave a lot and yeah with different colored wires it looks stunning and the black is a great base for you to put the the the, the fuchsia pink on it or the copper on it or the chartreuse on it or the the, the pale pink any of the colors will pop on it pop on it definitely. but even the antique bronze with it it's amazing how well they go oh, look at I him know. look at him but look at the green against the black totally. isn't that gorgeous so poppy so this is on your screen at the moment it's over 30 pounds you're saving on this bundle That's coming in again on that so do make sure you check out your baskets not as many as i would like left and at the bottom of your screen is our double wire, which had £10 saving, £32.90 today. So, right. eerie. Eerie. Where are we going? Right. Now, I did this off the reel. So, that was all wrapped with one piece. Mm. So, right. uh, and I, I was going to do halfway and then come down to meet it with the other half. And I thought, oh, well, actually, no, I'm going to curl it. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I quite like, you don't have to join it. Which, which isn't, to be fair, isn't an issue when, you, when you're doing wrapping like this. Um, but I just find it so easy because you can have as little or as much coming out as you want so it doesn't get in a tangle. No. Um, You've got no ends to fight with. If no, you. no, you haven't. And the bigger reels, the, the smaller reels we used to have, mm. have their own, they have their own um, merits. Yeah. I do use those for other things. But these, as you can see... It doesn't come off, so it because point four you can end up with this mass. Yeah, you really, <laughs> really can, can't you? And the same with the point two five, whereas it tends to stay on it. Yeah. So you can just leave it like that, and it's fine. Put it to the side, and you just wrap. Work with it as you go along. Now, what I found with wrapping things, and it, to me, it's it's a bible. What what I found when I'm doing it, start at the narrow end and work your way wider. Okay. because the wire will always try and get to the narrowest bit so if you start at a wide bit and start going narrow this is where people start getting gaps between the wire that's why because it it's slipping down and you're trying to hold it up and wrap and it's not easy that's such a good so tip. if you start at the bottom and work your way up you'll be all right you have to do it a little bit up here but nowhere near as much because if you were working your way down there nightmare it is because I've had that loads yeah and I never even thought to start at that point. Really good tip, Alison. So again, we're, we're going to wrap just round the very tip. So I've done a bit of a tail, probably seven or eight wraps if you really want to, to count them. OK. Doesn't matter if you come round the corner, because you can just slide it. And you see what I mean about wrapping with a small piece of yeah. wire? Yeah, you haven't got the purchase no. of you. So if you're doing that on the scrolls, that mm. starts getting to your fingertips. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to push that now so that it's sitting on the very tip. Okay. And then I'm just going to wrap. What I did was three or four times coming up the long side because yes. we're going all the way around there and we've only got that bit to equal it. Yes. And then wrap around and once to anchor it on that side. Okay. But it doesn't really matter. And if you do three, one, and four the next time, nobody's going no to notice. But you get, I just get into a rhythm with these things and, and I go one, two, three, four. But if I, if I get distracted, so two round there, it doesn't really matter. No. So you come back across. And each time you're going through, so I'll do that slowly okay, this time. One, one, two, three, four. Like I say, three or four. And okay. then you're going to go through the gap again. It's very handy having this gap here. Makes again, it, if you were wor weren't working, if you didn't have that, you wouldn't really be able to work off, you the wire, work off the reel. The reel no. yeah. Go between them and then just wrap once, right the way around to anchor, and then you're back around again. So that's why, because if you didn't do it this way, well, it wouldn't work, would it? You'd run out of space on the bottom. You would, yeah. So you'd have to do, you'd have to go up here. You, it's yeah. not the end of the world mm. because as you wrap, this tends to tighten up anyway. anyway yeah. um, but you just start from there and come down to meet it. it it's not the end of there the world. There is a way around yeah. it then. That's good. Um, but if you can do it, then it, it's done in one piece. Yeah. And it just saves so much time. 
So you keep going with that. And I won't do it all because you'll all go off and have a cup of tea. <laughs> Talking of tea, I was watching yesterday go on. the show. Go on. So I fetched my own in. <laughs> Scott. Because Scott, measly old I Scott, know. bought two tea bags the <laughs> other day. Alison, you are I'm making the sure. best. Yeah, making sure <laughs> all of your brew needs are here. <laughs> it's, me it's a long thing. weekend. Exactly, absolutely. <laughs> and there's a lot of... Bring your own tea. Hey. If, that's, if that's not a party, I don't know what is, Alison, <laughs> to be honest. So we go all the way up. And if you get some little gaps like I've got there, yeah. you can just put your nail or something through and you can tweak them until they're a bit more even. Okay. Okay? And then the other thing I've done is I've bowed it. I see. So this is where I say you can pull that down a bit and change the shape of that. You can stretch it a bit wider. You, you can play with your ear. Uh, till, okay. Till, <laughs> till it's as you like it. Yeah, absolutely. So now we've got our ear to go with um, Wonderful. Nelly. 12 people with this blackout in their baskets. It's really important you check out at this point because I've got a massive amount of my stock gone. It's one surprised. of all the main ones. Uh, the one mil, the 0 0.8, the 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0 0.25, 500 meters in total. Really important you are checking out because I've got a lot of my stock completely gone on this. Because let's face it, with over a 30 pound saving, and one of the most popular colours, of course you will want to get your hands on it. Please do check out for me. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. I do love it. I need some more, actually. Bargain day to I, get I'm it. I'm just nipping out of sight. I know, yeah. <laughs> just making one of my teas. <laughs> right. We've got two more bits to make. Okay. And then we've got the whole thing. This is his trunk. <laughs> I love that. This is his trunk. Because you could, you could if you wanted, wire wrap around the two lots. It would be quite fiddly, but yeah. you could do it. You could do it. So if you, this is a little, a little teeny bit of Viking net. It's a, hang on. One, two, three, four. It's a five loop. Five loop. Weave knit. Yeah. Never know what to call it. Okay. Um, what's the name? Sarah was showing you how to do Viking knit yesterday, so I won't, yeah. I won't take you through the whole thing of doing the Viking knit. But you need, what, an inch, an inch and a half. If you do too much, you can always trim it down. Okay. It's not an issue. Leave the tail, because you'll leave that to tie it on. Yeah. Take the end bit off, because I just undo this. Just taking that bit off. Yeah. Just to let you know, the coloured wire at the bottom of the screen, all with the £10 saving, I'm into low stock now. If everyone was to check out their baskets now, there would be really, really low stocks. So your last chance to get your hands on it realistically. Pugsy72 is the code on this. Pugsy. Pugsy, yeah. P U G C. 72. <laughs> £32.90 on that for you today. Just, just, just. Can I digress a little bit? I love a good digression. Go well, on. Can I just digress over here? Yeah, go on. Go to now. You were talking about the tubing. Oh, hello. In the Viking, this is the challenge tubing. We'll bring this for you later on. How what cool how cool is oh. that? Oh no, I've used the brown yeah. and the copper, but you could really go funky with the colours. I really adore go that. funky. Let me <gasps> Can I get the pink? Yeah, I was just oh thinking my gosh, the pink. Because the orange. Let me no, get no, it. the pink. Wait, on, let's get them chair. all here. Oh there you go. There. <laughs> Let me get you another. Yeah, let's do orange as well. Let's just go wild. Mardi Gras of there this today. I've, I've Sorry, my seat my face. Back. I've got for you uh, your pliers and your mm, tool, mandrel, coming up in a little bit. Oh, they're, they're fab. Oh my goodness, I love all these different colours with it. <gasps> the copper with <sighs> the, the, the navy is fab, isn't it? 
Yeah. Now that's quite a tight fit because I've done quite a narrow Viking net. Mm. But you, I well, you've got the big that. ones now. But yeah, that's fab, fab effect. But if you did a big Viking knit with your big tool, yeah, you know they they fetched out. Is it half inch one? The half the, inch yeah. one with the twelve loops, yeah. yeah. And then draw it down, but put your tube in first. Yeah. So as you're drawing it, you'd fit it perfectly on to the tube. tube. Yes, really and that idea. would be stunning. What a fab idea! How different is that? And then all you need to do is run a piece of wire through the core. And you can take that into any shape. It doesn't have to just be round your neck then. No. You could you could bend that into your snake. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> you, you could take that anywhere. That's so fab. It, is that a I bit love it with the different colours. This is really thin. Have a look at that. Oh wow, that's like Arabian Nights to yeah, me. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? But you see you could draw that now. Through the draw plate. Yeah. And and fit that really tightly over that. Love that idea yeah. so much so this this is fab i've never played with this before but it's great fun it's great fun yeah, i can't wait to see I what you've created you, i tell you what it'd be great fun for kids to play with as well definitely how fab for kids snakes do, do, do. play snakes <laughs> <laughs> you've got a bit of a snake fetish going on today do, 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 do. haven't you it's just <laughs> uncanny it's <laughs> uncanny yeah it? I, I i've seen a lot of pink snakes yeah good me too <laughs> alison this is <laughs> such a wonderful, wonderful it's selection. Fab, it's and fab. it's coming up Sorry. for you in the challenge about quarter to five, is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll have done something by then. Will you are? <laughs> I will. All have. right. Okay. Oh, yes, I will. Of have. course will you have. will. Sorry, where were we? We were at Nelly's nose. We're lovely. talking about the trunk. I've got for you the uh, nylon and the jaw man. and the mandrel coming up after we have a look okay. at the trunk. Right. So once you've taken your... your setting up loops on and I never know the proper names for things setting up yeah you know, I know you, what you mean the daisy, starter daisy, daisy loops yeah yeah basically with your spare wire I just feed feed it through to pull them tight because all we want this to do and we're not doing anything more than just closing it off to go for the end of the trunk but you want them secure there we go and if you pull that off tight oh, yeah, and squash look. it, you've got quite a stumpy end to it. Clever. So it, it ends it really neatly, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. And then all you need to do is tie that off by by threading it through a couple of times and you're done. If you wanted to, which I haven't on that one because it stays there, you could actually wait till you've put it on and then thread it through and catch the bottom of the wire. But I haven't with that one and it's not gone anywhere. No. So, you could also, if you wanted a really long trunk, actually make it longer than the wire and have a really long like one a, if you a wanted. Like a quirky yeah. little flute at the front. Yeah. I love the idea of that. Um, and we've had a few messages in about the wonderful nylon jawed pliers. They are coming to you right here, right now. Oh, glasses are yeah, on. I have to to see the screen. Oh, right. It's like, oh. <laughs> glasses on, glasses on. I like on. that. Discuss. Mm. <laughs> to take them off to look close. <laughs> Nylon jewel pliers, Alison, discuss. Do you know what? They are so, so useful. I use them a lot. I really do use them a lot. If you, for instance, let's take a piece of this. There was a lady who, oh, there you go. That, that bit's crinkly. So see how, if you've, if you've wrapped a bit of um, 0.4 and it's come back out, now that's all crinkly. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Just by doing that. That's just so dramatic of a difference, isn't it? And no colours coming off. No. Nope. Uh, no matter what colour you're working with, because nope. of the. Because it's gentle on yeah. them. Yeah. It is gentle on them. And, and you, that's ready for reuse. Now, the lady who was saying about it curling, she wanted to get it straight. Yes. Let's take a bit of non straight wire. one mil wire. There we go. Okay. Now, when you tend to do it, most people, when you hold it, it has a tendency, effectively, I'm exaggerating, you're doing that as you're pulling the wires Because through, of the natural your twist does of your that. wrist. Yeah. yeah. So, your wire will turn, but all you have to do is keep turning it, and you will get it straight. Really good tip. So, just keep the wire turning. Yeah. Stroke, turn, etc. Yeah. 
and and you because basically you're you're fighting your natural instinct is you've got your bend of your wrist now I use them I also use them to squish things if I don't want to, to damage it um, if you want to be gentle with something I'll use these to squish it I use it to hold things when you when you're opening and closing things if you don't want to damage them mm. I use them loads almost as much as I use my flush cutters really <laughs> wow yeah I couldn't be without an nylon pair and we've got your mandrel as well now yeah. this is the mandrel which has the multiple different shapes on it so it's got your circles at the base and then we go up into the ovals which then takes on to the squares and finally up here for your triangle shapes. Now when we think of mandrel, we instantly often think ring mandrel, yeah. which of course you can use this for, obviously, but yeah. there's so many other shapes on there. What else do you use this for? <clears throat> I'm quite keen on using different shapes. I have done, I've made triangular jump rings, I've made square ones, I, I love it. And, and going back to the Art Deco thing, it was very geometrical definitely and you could use that and and you'd get them all they'd all be symmetrical each one would be the same mm -hmm. fantastic but like i say you can use it for jump rings um who was it the other day with the memory wire splayed it out and was it Gemma crow made a, oh, a flower or something with it i think it was yeah. Yeah. Mm, but you could yeah. do it with different shapes if you've got a triangle hold the triangle in the point and spread that out you, you can play with it to your That's heart's content. That's a brilliant idea. Pull it out a bit and get different patterns. That's Whereas if you've got a coil, you pull it out, you get a wave. You know what you're going to get. If you've got a square or a triangle, you just get higgledy-piggledy shapes. That's wonderful. Oh, you're too young to remember. In the 70s. Go on, yeah. <laughs> only before slightly your time, before yeah. my time. Only <laughs> slightly. Um, they used to do these sort of... Um, Oh, I wouldn't say monkey puzzle tree, but it wasn't. They used to all these lampshades used to be weird and wonderful, and they they'd have all these different angles going on and and, and wires going round at different angles, mm. and you could use that to do make a coil and then just start pulling it out and making it into different Love shapes that and switch it around. Yeah, that sounds really good fun. <laughs> these are your wire work tools, nylon jaw pliers, and your multi mandrel. The price I told you it'd be under a tenner. I did not lie. Six pounds and 95 pence on this for you today. That's a good deal. That's a really great deal. So we're thinking, uh, what is it? Three pound, less than three pounds 50 mm. per tool. I think when I got my nylon pliers, which to be fair, I've had almost since the start. Mm. Um, I think I probably paid about 6.95 for my nylon pliers at Just least. for that. At least, yeah. And you've got the mandrel here as and well. The mandrel. This is such a great deal for you to get your hands on today. Wire work tools, nylon jaw pliers and multi mandrels. Six pounds and ninety five pence for you today. Treat yourself to it. And I love that they're comfort grip as well. They are, yeah, they're very They have comfy. the spring in them. If you because sometimes I know with pliers that I've used from other companies, other places that I bought, sometimes with the handle you when you push them together you actually have to open mm. them yourself but this you'll be able to see has that spring back notion which means that if you have got dexterity issues this just makes it so much easier to use you're not fighting with them they just do it for you don't you yes i do oh six pound 95 wow <laughs> <laughs> Six pounds ninety-five. <laughs> Mandrel and your nylon jaw players. Hello, Victoria, Brenda, Linda, Caroline, Tori, Sharon, Andrea, Carol, um, Eliza, uh, Iris, Tanya, Natalie, Dave, June. Loads of you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you too wish to carry out some sort of jaw related puppet show now you can Could have a little, right little shadow six show. pounds 95 <laughs> i know right hey can you do hand puppets i'm cracking at shadow, oh, yeah, shadow really? puppets look <laughs> do you know what that is an indian no it's rudolph the red nose reindeer that oh. honestly shadow okay. puppet my forte 
I'm so good at them. Okay. It's, honestly, it's fab. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring in a board, actually, a board light for the birthday show. Maybe give you a little. You do with a little, little light show. box. Yeah, like a little light box. Yeah. yeah. It's not that time of year that Pip's saying, Alison, do not encourage her, please, because she will. It's a Christmas show waiting to happen. Isn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll work on Shadow it. Shadow puppets. Let's get a script together, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> When Rudolph me. met Nelly the Elephant. £6.95 <laughs> is the price of this today. You need to be checking out your baskets, ladies and gents, who've got it in there for me because they're flying out today. Now you've distracted me now. Oh, don't blame me, Alison. <laughs> before, before you cut the end off, draw it. Yeah, draw a plate. Draw it, yeah, draw it a bit. Or you can, use, you can actually use your fingers to... Mould it. Yeah. On the end of what you will need, on the end of your lazy daisy, you've got the little pointed thing. Uh, the crank. The cro the, the crone. The pin, <laughs> the, the cone, flower, the, the cone, cone the bit on the other yeah, side. Yeah. You want to open this a bit. Okay. If you haven't got that, put your pliers in and push them round. But it's better if you've got the cone. Or a wags Y cone. That'd do it. Just so as you get a nice tapered top to it, and then that'll fit over you. Don't have anybody laugh. So you're actually putting it over the trunk, yeah. aren't you? It's going to go over the trunk, the, and the wire will form. The wire will form the the frame. The frame of yeah. the actual icing and, and the structure. You've got the trunk on both of the elephant yeah. frames. So do they both go in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. I see. Um, I think we've made all the bits we need for the elephant, haven't we? How got fabulous is that? So, mm. afterwards, we're going to have a little look. Oh, we haven't done the table. At, we haven't, at how to put them all together. Yep. At how to do this section. And yeah. should we do the tail we now? Do, yeah, got, we can do that now. Yeah, we've I've got, got I knew there nine was, minutes. Oh, right. I knew there was How's something that? Is that else. enough time? Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. if not, we can carry on. No, tail doesn't take long at all. Okay. Piece of wire. Decide how long you want your tail. Random. I didn't want mine mega long. No. You want quite a decent sized loop because it's going to go, it, we're going to make basically a loop, which is how you get the movement. Just a straightforward uh, eye loop because that will attach around the frame. And yes. that's how we get the movement. Okay. Okay. And that's actually attaching around the two frames, isn't it? That's going right. So, so that's why it needs to be a bit more substantial. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I've done mine about three centimetres an inch-ish. And you want the teeniest of little loops on the other side. Right, now with our point 0.4 wire, I wrapped it all the way down the main tail and I'll do it very roughly. So obviously you do it neater and Golly, golly, you've done that a few times, haven't you, Alison? Yeah. You are quick at that. I've used a gizmo too often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you do it a bit more neater than that. That's quite rough and ready. I wouldn't go that far at all. Okay. So if we have a little look at that, how neat is that? That's amazing. Do not worry as well, by the way, we've had some messages in. We will be putting the diagram on Facebook after the show. So don't worry, we've had a few messages in. That will be going up for you. If you don't know where our Facebook page is, it's on Facebook and type in the search bar, Jewelry Maker, it's one word, and our logo will come up there as the picture. Um, have a little click on that and it will be up at some point after the show today. It's at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Now, depending on how fluffy you want the end of your tail, I probably did about 20, 30 centimetres, something like that. For the little... For the little bit. bit. Now, I had a very strange tool that I used for this. It was strange. called my nail file. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to find something similar that I can use here. So it's it doesn't matter that it's round. It doesn't okay. matter that it's round. It's only to, so that you can loop it round, okay? Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go round. So you can do it around an oar or... Yeah, yeah. I just happen to have that to hand. Okay. And literally you're going to go round it quite loosely. Don't, don't pull it too tight. 
as many times as you can fit through the whole of the loop. So this is with that, say, 20, 30 centimetre tail that yeah. we had? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it depends on how big your loop is mm -hmm. as to how many you can fit through. Um, but again, you're going to use this for, for doing scrolls and for stitching the whole thing together. So don't panic. I won't do okay. all of them. So we'll leave it as that many. And then squeeze that as tight as you can and wrap it around a few times and pull it really tight that then pulls out now mine was flat obviously yeah because you did it around flat surface yeah and i've pushed that up there there you go go back down there okay and then squish that flat if in doubt nylon jaws nylon are out pliers. okay just tie off your end so go through the gap and around a bit. Trim it off. I've done that quite lovely. I would trim that off properly. Squish those in a little bit more. Right, now when you splay these out, yeah. you've got your little fluffy tail. And you can bend these to do a little bit of movement or whatever. Oh, that's wonderful. And there's your little tail. Easy peasy, yeah. and when you have a look on the actual elephant as well, you can see where this is attached across the two frames. So this is the large loop that we did at the very beginning, which is why you get that wonderful movement to the tail. It's fab. I've got a message in. Is this from Belinda? Oh, hello. Belinda before with the, the uh, massive oh, yes. I wish you could have seen the look on my twin's oh. face when they saw that picture of them with the elephant priceless. <laughs> JM, Excellent. you have two new fans. Aww. Belinda! Thank oh. you so, so much. Hello, Hi, boys! Twins. Look at them. I can't tell you. And do you know what I love see. about it as well? Yeah, go on. I love when twins are dressed similarly. Yeah, yeah. I look at them in their Aww. little matching outfit. That is adorable. Hello! Oh, bless it, you're having a lovely afternoon with I us. Know, that's, that's stunning, that. Amazing, it's a lovely it? picture, it's a lovely it is family amazing. picture, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'd love to have a go at that elephant. I'd love, sure. to do, I'd love to do a life-size dragon, or a big, that sort of size dragon. Wow. It'll take you a while, though. Well, next time you're on with us, that's your challenge! I couldn't get it through the door. Nightmare. It's all right, we'll have time taken out <laughs> just to look at it, it's fine. <laughs> Now, I have got for you some more wire. We've had, again, more people messages in about this. These are two of your wires. A lot of people asking about the silver-coloured wire. We've got it here. 100 metres of your 1 mil and 100 metres of your 0 0.6. Now, we haven't done silver wire bundle in quite some time, really, have we? What do you think of silver as a, a colouring? I love it because, it again, it goes with anything. Mm. Um, I just love all the wires. I'm probably the, the, the worst person no. to ask because I love all the wires. I've even, I've even bought some pink wire now. Have you? I've even bought some pink. It's amazing. What are you doing with that? Oh, well, I've, well, I've actually got, got a commission to make a pink uh, stiletto shoe. Um, but I did buy some pink wow. to I have used pink in some pieces now, which I don't do pink. I'm not, not a pink person. I, I love I love this silver wire because it's it's silver coated, isn't it? It's yes. not silver, silver coloured. Colored. It's silver coated. And I love the, the sheen you get from it. Yeah. It's got a, a really, really nice quality. Definitely. Really it is nice. really high shine. What do you think of Nelly in silver? Because if I'm you honest, this is possibly silver. the colour I would initially think of to do an elephant in. I probably my first thought was gold because that's really sumptuous yeah and and I just thought well it it might look a little bit over the top for something that size if it was bigger it might be with the gold yeah 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 you could do it but this is what I'd, I'd said to them I said really I don't mind which of them so long as it's metallic but silver I mean I'm a silver person I, I don't do I don't tend to do gold I tend to do silver for myself mm -hmm. or white gold so I love it and I use it so, so much. Yeah, you use it a lot. Yeah. With your 0 0.6, you talked a lot about your, 0, uh, your yeah. 1 mil. 0 0.6, what do you do with that one? Um, I'm using it more. So, so with some of the designs I do now, I'll use it as somewhere to fill in. So I might have a 0 0.8 or a, a 1 mil or a bigger frame. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll use it if I'm doing certain things to fill in. Okay. So I use it, I use it more for that. I use it, I love twisting with it. I use it a lot with the wire twister, especially when you start mixing the colors. Mm. And all the metallics together are stunning. Mm -hmm. So the gold, the silver, um, the copper and the antique bronze all mixed up together and twisted. I love that I idea. I better bring the price in, you know, yeah, because you I've got have. loads of people already got their hands on this. Your price today, 200 meters of silver wire should be 47 pounds and 90 pence. But not today, ladies and gentlemen and elephants. Your price today <laughs> for this 36 pounds and 95 pence for you today but my quantity is going down oh already only got 27 of this already i started off with way more than that wasn't i closer to 50 before yeah i was um 26 24 you're gonna have to be quick to get your hands on these you truly truly are 22 of them left now at just 36.95 it just goes to show how popular silver is so as soon as you get it in it'll go out yeah i know i've i've, I've gone oh no i need more silver so i always make sure i've got a stash mm. i really do i kind of have a reel in reserve yeah so as soon as I've finished one and I've started the last reel, I'll start yeah. finding where's my next one coming where's from. Where's my next bit coming from? <laughs> where's my <me> fix? <laughs> After the break, I have got so many more goodies for you. We'll also be heading back over to Alison to find out not only how to put Nelly together, but how to do the ceremonial headdress and all of the extra little zhuzhes here. You're going to have to be so quick now because I've got five left and I've got about 10 of you with it in baskets, which is a nightmare. Whoever checks out first is going to get it. Chrissy, is it going to be you? Is it going to be you, Nikki, Margaret, Fern, Lorraine, new telephone bidder, Amanda? All of you have got it in your baskets, but I've only got three left, two left. Stay where you are after the break. More deals, more fun, and more Nelly. See you then. <laughs> As we approach this very special occasion, the lads on The Late Show, my producer Liam, my director Bruce, would just like to wish Jewelry Maker a very special fourth birthday. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker! I'm going to do that line, you're going to do that line, and we're going to... Okay, we're freelancing, and we're going to Because I can't see! Can you bark like a dog? <laughs> can we can do this in one take, you know? I do. Prue, happy birthday to you! Yes! <laughs> He's now it's the Genty crew, coming out to the big... Yeah. What, what was I saying? <laughs> the Claire D.O. double G. That's your cue to bark like a dog. <laughs> happy birthday to you! Jewelry maker. maker. If you've <laughs> lost it. <laughs> Hit it, my dogs. <laughs> it's producer Danny. It's presenter Jenny. The one who saved you. Every penny. If you switched on your telly, you cannot ignore. Us wishing JM a happy birthday. Number, Number four. four. Countryside. <laughs> <laughs>
Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Welcome back to Design Inspiration. Thank you very much for joining me today. I have got the wonderful, lovely, talented Stop. wire lady. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, stop. Stop it. Alison Tarry is here with us today. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? It's all right. I've, I've, I'm back to challenge now. How's so. that going so far? All right. We're having a play. We're having yeah, a play. You've got a bit of time to play. Do not worry. <laughs> Because I have got for you, as a build up to our birthday weekend, so many crackalacking deals. You have had massive amounts of deals on wire already. I've got loads and loads of gemstone goodies, bundles. Have I told you? I have, but I'll remind you. This is one bundle. I know. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Ooh, now. Pink. Pink. Black, pink, wow. Pink, black, wow. wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I absolutely adore that. Why pink and black? Why? why it's because you, you put it in my brain with the Art Deco thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. That, that's why. And it just shows it off fantastically. It really absolutely does. Absolutely brilliantly. I think this is such an alluring strand. Mm. It, it's, do you know what it is? Sexy. It's a bit it's of a, a sexy strand, isn't it? I was just thinking it's a Marilyn Monroe type of... Totally mm. right. Absolutely beautiful. Your pink chalcedony, 80 carats worth that we have of this today, in your graduated faceted pairs. These are truly seductive, sparkly, really hot, passionate pop of pink in there, isn't there? Do you like it, do you? I really love it. I'm no, a proper gorgeous. pink girl, I've got oh, to yeah. say. Oh, I, I really I... am. Yeah, especially when it's this kind of hue. Totally. When it's this brightness. I love colour popping and I love colour blocking. Yeah. I would wear this with this, actually. I was going to say, that goes nice with what you've got on. It really fair. does, doesn't it? I just love colour blocking, colour pops. See, don't you think with something paler, maybe a bit of silver, mm. it's very girly, very delicate, very fer very feminine, and then you put it with the black and it's quite bold and hey, femme fatale type and mm. yeah, it's sort of more grown up almost. Definitely agree with that. Oh, we've had a comment in from Beverly about this. What have you said, Beverly? This is very Moulin Rouge. Yeah, yeah. So true, Beverly, isn't it? Yeah, it's that boldness that, that really, it's in your face, it, it's, yeah. it's a statement. Oh, definitely. It's th this isn't a wallflower strand, no, is it? No, At no. all. This is a standout piece. But the funny thing, saying that, you could, like we say, tone it down if you just used one. Yeah with um, some pearls or some pale yeah. pinks. Yeah. Maybe that rose quartz we had on earlier for yeah. 4.95. Oh yeah, you could mix it with that very, you could mix it with that very easily. Put one of those in between each. Spaces. Yeah, that would look lovely. I love you that. You see the difference, maybe with some little um, silver spaces in between. Yeah. That, a lot more delicate, a lot more feminine. Definitely, quite girly, quite Very charming. Girly. Yeah. I completely agree with that. 80 carats worth. I've already got web bids in for this today. You love it as much as I do. It's very rare that we will ever bring you genuine gemstones with so much of a beautiful colour pop as this. It's yours today for just £8.95. I've got on my strand, of course, it's done on carrot weight, but I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've got on my strand. And at eight pounds and 95 pence, that's not working out much at all. A few pence yeah. per gemstone. Yeah. What would that's you good. think of maybe um, adding to this to, if you possibly could even, intensify? the pink and make it maybe quite a young bold um 
you know nightwear piece I mean you see I'd go for another color like like a bright blue like with your dress yeah that mixture of a couple of colors to pop and I think that would show your pink off very well yeah definitely do you know what I mean yeah I really so I, do I would put it with another strong color to mm. make the two colors pop that's what I do I like that I <laughs> love the idea I can completely see mm. that on a catwalk actually yeah very yeah. catwalk very high end hello everyone who's getting your hands on this people from all around the country getting birthday fever and getting this in your baskets today eight pounds 95 pence low stock of my next deal single figures in fact one of the most high-end gemstones possible if you are looking to get your hands on something that is well it's one of the big four it has got a strength and saturation of hue that is just unparalleled uh, to any other variety of the actual gemstone strands that i've seen the clarity is impeccable it's perfectly eye clear now eye clear is um a term that basically means if you were to say wear it as a bracelet and you have it around arms length you would be able to see no inclusions in there whatsoever no cracks no nothing i have my own term that i call rest it on your eye clear which means you can get it so close it's almost resting on your eye and you can't see any inclusions this strand i'm going to bring to you now is my rest it on your eye clear it's one of the big four beautiful clarity beautiful strength of hue and the work that's gone into it is impeccable but you've got to get yourself on the phone lines right now i've got nine left that's it it's only been to air once we sold the other 100 or whatever we had before and we just had nine left over you won't be seeing this on tv again that's for sure 25 carats worth of this you can see the extreme quality here these are your graduated faceted wheels this is luxury in gem form when you want to get your hands on a ruby these are the types of qualities you want to be looking for the qualities you've got on this is what you want to get your hands on what do you think of this strand truly truly that's gorgeous and i could see you could put that with the other one as well yeah you're right that last one right. but that that is stunning let's play the three word game all right three words to describe that you think of when you think or hear ruby oh rich 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 definitely red. yeah red sumptuous really mm. just really it's just all that richness and the and the yeah sumptuousness and i'm gonna give you for this rich red sumptuous strand a truly delectable price in which you don't actually have to be that rich to get your price today is just 49 pounds and 95 pence and honestly when you feel this when you look at it instantly you can see the quality the thing i love with this is as soon as people recognize the color they're gonna know what it is i've only got five of them left right now though you're gonna have to be so quick to get your hands on this you truly are people with it in their baskets i cannot tell you how important it is that you check out the work that has gone into this exceptional ruby is just totally worth it time and time again ruby it does make you think rich it does make you does. think sumptuous it's one of the big four and to get it with this higher quality is just too exceptional isn't it the sparkle from across here so is seductive. beautiful yeah it truly is isn't it mm. do make sure you get your authenticity for this if you do want to get the plastic version uh, which is just a small plastic printout and um, that's sort of laminated then you can get that from the call center alternatively get it and um, once you check it out you can get it in your basket if you're shopping online but genuinely it is imperative you get your authenticity for this because it's just so beautiful and at the end of the day when you're working with this higher quality of gemstone you're going to want that extra backup 
to prove to your customers you know what you're doing you know what you're working with 49 pounds and 95 pence i've only got three left though and i've got people waiting for it on the phones and in their baskets so do check out that's going to be a sellout for you today you're gonna to have to be really really quick to get your hands on that don't you think though that the big four as it were they're almost grown-up gemstones mm, they make you. you feel oh yeah I'm, I'm i'm a proper jeweler yeah I'm, I'm someone who's you know not messing with this not playing with it totally and you know what i would say the same for garnet mm. oh, which is garnet. what i've got here two strands oh this is your wonderful Spessarite garnet. Spessarite um, named from its location in which it was found in Bolivia. What do you think of Spessarite garnet? I adore it. I've got, I've got quite a few strands. strands. have you? Yeah. It's my colour tones. Love it. It is a beautiful richness. These sandy, almost amber tones yeah. actually, aren't they yeah. running through it? This is Gosh Garnet. Gosh Garnet. <laughs> Pip, producer Pip at his finest there, naming this bundle. <laughs> this is a double trouble deal I'm doing on these for you today. Specimite Garnet, again, big gemstone right now, huge. Mm. Why do you love it so much? It's not just your colour tone, but... It, it, well, to be fair, I've got quite a lot of the different garnets. Mm. I, I do like the garnets because I, I like the versatility of it. But it's, I find it quite versatile stone to use. And that colour is, again, it would go with virtually anything. It's, it's, it's almost a neutral. Yeah, I do know what you mean. But it's got pack behind it, power. It really has. It's got that zest behind yeah. it, hasn't it's it? Lovely. That gorgeous honey whiskey behind there. It's so stunning. 190 carats worth, and these are graduated from 4x2 to 11x8 mil. 80 carats on each strand means that you're getting 190 carats worth for these two. Double trouble, we're giving you two, which means we're giving you a discount. Your price on these two today is a tiny... £16.95 pence for you for both of them. So what's that per strand? Like eight something. Eight pounds forty something per strand for garnet. I know. Sulking. <laughs> Are you sulking over I'm there, Alison? Eight pounds forty-seven. Uh we've got a text that might cheer you up. Oh right. Let's have a little look. This is from Brian. Hello, nice to see you. Perhaps with Alison and a team, we could do a life-size Welsh dragon. Oh, Are we having some fantastic. green wire today, please? Great show, Alison and Becky. Fantastic. I love I notice it. you're not saying where he's from. Um, <laughs> uh, from well. the Cun and Taff. Say that to me again. Kronda Cunnan Taff. Kronda. Kronda Cunnan Taff. Kronda Cunnan Taff. <laughs> I sounded quite good then, didn't I? I'm not going to lie, I'm from Cheshire, so I'm just over the border <laughs> from you. <laughs> that and I watch quite a lot of Gavin and Stacey, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for that. And yes, I think we have. We have got Green Wire coming up today. Because of the elephant. It's for his backpack and his headdress as well. Tis. So we have, we've got some green wire coming up for it. His backpack? Where <laughs> is he going on holiday? Yes, Nelly the elephant packed his trunk, of course. But now, you know, it's kind of modern. He's packing his backpack. <laughs> Nelly the elephant packed his backpack. <laughs> uh, 16,095 pence. Thank you for that message in, Brian. Get your hands on this and the wire will be coming up for you very, very soon, my dear. Ooh. What's that the sound of? <laughs> I don't know either. It's like, he just, Pip just said, let's do the mega bundle. And that's just kind of what my body came out with. Like, go, oh, mega. There is so, so much. So, or it's mega. You're right, Pip, if you're staying with it. 10 strand mega bundle. Let's take a look at these all together. Whoa, you are getting such an amount. Do you know what I love of this? 
different colours, different textures, different sizes, different shapes. You've got, this is a stasher topper upper, isn't it? Oh yeah, cracking, cracking starter as well. Mmm, great one to get yourself started, started with. If you are new to us today at Jewelry Maker, thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget you will get a DVD and booklet with your first purchase today. And also, we've got some new 2JM deals for you as well coming up. So all the basic bits and tools and that sort of thing. Keep your eyes peeled for it in Designer Inspirations because we do little sections like that for you. Let's have a look at these one by one, shall we? Because I am in love. Speaking of which, how about some hearts? Green Adventuring Puffy Hearts. 135 carats worth of these, 10 mil. These are beautiful. I like these hearts because you can tell they're hearts, but they're quite delicate, aren't they? You could, if you paired these correctly, pass them as a trillion, actually, couldn't you, perhaps? The trillion yeah. shape, the triangular shape, wouldn't yeah. you? Or you can make little little flowers. Little flowers, bow ties you could do yeah. with these, couldn't you? 135 carats worth you have here, and these are 10 mil. You've also got, look at this total juxtaposition. I hardly ever see Dalmatian Jasper anymore. No, we don't see it very often, do we? I can't think of the last time I've seen it. And I really, really, truly do adore, adore, adore. It's got that beautiful kind of monochrome feel to it, but it's not the harsh black and white that you might expect from, say, your agates. It's got the kind of neutral. Do you know what it reminds me a little bit of? Go on. Sort of um, like a quail's egg yes. shell. Yes. Or a little sparrow yeah, shell yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. It's got it, that little hint of a colour, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. That eggshelly colour behind it. Really beautiful. You are going to be getting as well in here. Oh my goodness, there's just so, so much. I can't get over it. You've got your faceted rounds as well here. Um, you've got this strand actually in the beautiful blue and in this really yummy, yummy yellow. And these ones are your agate faceted rounds. They're both six mil. I adore and those. And in fact, hang on, we've got another one as well. That's six mil faceted round as well. Isn't that fab? So you've got 80 carats of your green. You've got 80 carats of your yellow. And you've got 80 color, uh, carats of your blue and white agate on here. Six mil each of these. And they're all faceted. And they're each 36 centimetre strands as well, by the looks of things on here. I love the sparkle. The sparkle with that banding is just so mm. tempting. I'd actually work with these together. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, the blue and the yellow, I remember years and years ago, years and years ago, you're only four, on JM, you used to do three different sizes, and I, I got the blue one and I got the, the yellow one in three different sizes. Yeah. And I love it. The, the agate, I love it. It is fab, isn't it? And, and six mil, I use so much six mil. I love them actually next oh, to these. That, one. that is fab, isn't Stonking. it? There's whoppers, these look like, and they're almost got a kind of golf ball because the yeah. facets on them, they're almost concave in a sense. Mm. They're absolutely stunning. This is your brown white fire agates. These are nine to 10 mil. I love the juxtaposition in sizes here. You have got 200 and carats on that strand here. You've also got the puffy squares. Again, just adding a total different colour. We've not had a pop of pink yet. This is quite bright, isn't it? Very, very bright. Almost neon -y, isn't it? Mm. You've also, uh, with this strand of the beautiful puffy squares, you are going to be getting 180 carats worth, and these are 10 mil on there. You've got, let's go high ends, beautiful peach moonstone here, which is so beautiful. Look at these drops. 80 carats worth you've got of these irregular drops. A lengthy strand as well, 30 centimetres. How do you feel about Moonstone? I love Peach Moonstone. Mm. I've got some... Yeah, no, I like that. I'm quite a natural type colour tones. Yeah. And the Peach Moonstone's beautiful. It does, it, it does match in with that beautifully, mm. doesn't it? It really, really does. As well as that, look at these. Oof. Pow. 
blue quartz. That to me is really blue. We're talking almost denim blue, mm. aren't we? This is really gorgeous and bright. Well, we can say then, Alison. I was going to say, look at the pink and the blue together. You know, you were saying about that pink, pink strand blue before. Together. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Now that is very. That's what I class as a younger person's. Yeah. Mixed tone. Yeah. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean. That's really fun, isn't it? Those two yeah. together. I adore them. They're massive as well, actually, this quartz. What size is it exactly? Let me just read up there. 10 mil. Yeah. Whopping. And they're your plain rounds on that. And then finally, my last one, and I have run out of hand space. I'll move it up my arm in a moment. Um, we have got here for you this beautiful red agate barrels. 280 carats worth on here. And that is 12 by 10 mil. So let me get them on my arm because I've run out of hand space and I want you to be able to see them all. You've got in here huge, big, beautiful, chunky barrels of the agate, 280 carats, 12 by 10. You've got your hot pop of color with this beautiful pink quartz 180 carats worth you've got a pow really bright almost neon really bold but really usable playing around on the blue quartz you've got these two naturals as well with your agate and with your beautiful peach moonstone they work gorgeously actually i love these as little drops in between there wouldn't that be stunning You've got three strands of your pastely tones as well, super faceted agate. You've got this beautiful monochrome Dalmatian Jasper. And then you've got absolutely stunning adventuring 135 carats. What should your price be, do you think? £45.50 and 50 pence is your should be price on these 10 strands today, which is a stunning deal, really. But, how do you feel about 40 pounds? That'd be four pounds a strand. That's great. It's not designer inspiration great though, is it? It's not birthday weekend great, is it? How do you feel about three pounds a strand? Your price today, 30 pounds for you. You did a little chuckle then. Price. Three it? pounds a strand. Yes. Fantastic. And none of these are measly strands. No. The minimum length you've got on here is 30 centimetres, but you've got some that are 36 centimetres, some that are 38 centimetres. And like you say, some of those, the faceting on them's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And you've got the different shapes. That's that's a that's a stonker kit. Isn't it? Yeah. You've got absolutely everything that you need here. You truly do. You've got, if you want chunky, you're sizable, you've got the barrels. If you want your brights, your pops, you've got the pink and the blues. If you want your neutrals, your naturals, you've got the agate and the moonstone. If you want just a little kiss of colour, something delicate, maybe, you know, you're making for people who are a little bit, they prefer a subtle colour palette, maybe even a kind of Kath Kidson colour palette. You've got these three strands of your faceted in the six mil. If you want something that's just traditional, it's going to go with absolutely everything. You've got the monochrome of the Dalmatian Jasper. If you want something that is just oh so luxurious for three pound, your adventuring. Carrot weight wise, we've got to be talking up there, haven't we? I've got a hundred of the Dalmatian. What is it? One thousand four hundred and sixty five <laughs> carrots. Fabulous. 1,465 carats today for 30 pounds. That is truly exceptional, isn't it? Fabulous. Loads of web bids you need to be checking out. This is going to be stash topper upper, isn't it? Definitely. It truly, truly is. Yeah, absolutely. And if you've got any of the wire today, you've got almost endless pieces. Obviously, it's not endless, but you've got so many pieces you could make. You really, really do, don't you? Mm. And you know what? Maybe you've got a beading group uh, where mm. you are. Maybe you do jewellery parties. You might be one of those colour, uh, one of those people, sorry, you don't actually sell your jewellery. Maybe you just run the parties and you just like making for yourself. 
maybe you're one of those people who for yourself you like quite neutrals quite naturals fine then you know use the adventuring maybe you'll keep the three faceted agates maybe you'll keep the uh, large agate and you'll keep the moonstone but the other three four strands aren't really doing it for you why not have them as a raffle prize why not have them as a gift for your jewelry party why not give those to a friend or do a little swapsy with one of your friends that maybe goes to your budding beaders group or something like that you don't have to just use them and don't think you have to use them together either obviously you could absolutely there's a lot of those that would go together there is a lot isn't there yeah there are loads and loads and do you know what i love the versatility so say i'm thinking of doing something a little bit springy i think of putting these ones together myself I think with these four strands together, that to me is just a little bit of a spring morning. You've got the beautiful greens of the land, you've got the blue skies and little pops of sun going through there, and it's a really delicate way of doing it. What would you do if you had a theme? Have a little look at some of these. Which ones would you pick out and what, what would you be thinking of? Um, I'd put the pink with some of those greens because I think that goes great and we're back into nature. Oh and yeah, I think that, of course. That goes lovely. You're absolutely right. They go beautifully together, don't they? Yeah, and I like the little green agate with the coffee um, fire agate or the brown fire agate because mm. they they blend in nice. Mm, definitely agree with that. Yeah. And you're right, actually, with this colour tone as well. Yeah. <sighs> this is stunning. Thirty pounds on this. Guys, seriously need to check out your baskets whenever you get the opportunity today because this is going so, so quickly. We've got about 40 second wait on the phone, Pip says, so it's not a long wait at all. It's well worth you getting yourself in here. When you're working with genuine gemstones for three pounds a strand, this is just an amazing selection which truly you can enjoy time after time day after day design after design 30 pounds worth on here do check out your baskets for me three pounds per strand genuine gemstones no brainer, no brainer says alison i am all over that definitely after the break, I am back with the wonderful Alison Terry. She's going to be showing us a little bit more of her Ella Funky design. Join us after this break and make sure you're checking out those baskets. Three pounds a strand. Can't say no, can you? Five, six, seven, eight. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Join Jewelry Maker on Sunday the 4th of May for our birthday spectacular. To celebrate, we will be launching our fourth birthday collection DVD. This four disc special features 19 guest designers and 23 different inspirations, including necklaces, bracelets, rings and earrings. Make sure you tune in and don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. The launch of the fourth birthday collection DVD, Sunday the 4th of May on Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Happy birthday to all you lovely jewellery maker people out there. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the show. Hi, jewelry makers! Uh, birthday! Okay. Ready? We look like a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, jewelry makers! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Ah. Can you yeah. take your top off? No, I'm not taking my top off. Is that not good? No. This Sunday, join us on Jewelry Maker as we celebrate our fourth birthday. 
we've got a jam-packed show in store featuring many of our guest designers to share their knowledge and skills, and we'll be introducing you to some brand new products, new tools, exclusive strands, brand new DVDs, and much, much more. So join us this Sunday and help us to celebrate this very special day, Jewelry Maker's fourth birthday. Welcome everyone to Designer Inspiration and today myself Becky am joined by the wonderful Alison and Alison you brought your friends along? I did fetch Nelly. I have to say just before we were coming on when they'd photographed all the bits and they'd left everything out there and Nelly had gone and I hadn't realised Nelly had come in here they'd pinched Nelly and I was like oh my god where's Nelly gone? What off to? <laughs> oh no. Panic. It's alright he's here he's fine he's safe he came in to see you. <laughs> he wandered off into set, I tell yeah, you, absolutely. star in the making, Nelly. Star of the show, beautiful Nelly. Now we had some messages in and we are going to be bringing to you the green wire at this point with the elephant. If you've just tuned in, we've already learned how to make the elephant itself. What we're going to be learning in this section is how exactly to attach it all together and how to do its detachable clothes. <laughs> Clothes. Clothes, headwear, headdress, backdress or backpack as I called it earlier on. Um, we're going to be learning how to create this in this section for you today. So you said earlier on that you know one mil and 0 0.4 yeah. were the ones you regularly work yeah. with and then now I'm bringing to you 0 0.8 and 0 0.25. Yeah. So why is this? The put, the, the not. 0.8 is for the frame mm. the one mil would have just been too heavy because if it was a huge elephant mm. then fair enough but it's not so i wanted something that was quite flexible that i could bend because i'd always planned that they were removable okay. you know you can have little different outfits for different days love <laughs> the idea of that um so <laughs> sad <laughs> aren't i no i love that i think that's really nice um so so the point out and this is what i say i've really started making use of the other sizes now whereas before i'd have managed with one mil wire yeah and the 0.25 when you've got the fine delicate beads the 0.25 just make takes the stress away of going will it go through will it not go through it will go through i haven't found anything it doesn't go through no so it's you just don't easier have to worry, no do you, it's, you it's really easier. don't you really do so that's that's why i did those and I think I love the idea of the different outfits. I really, really do because you could actually then, if you were to sell the elephant as a separate and then maybe sell the headdress or something oh, separate, different people, different lit rooms, different yeah. colour schemes and things like that you could do. Absolutely. But what you could do, because I haven't on there, is where I've got the little starry bit in the middle, there's nothing wrong with you putting a letter. Oh, I love the idea of that. So you on, on, the, on the side, mm -hmm come on the not on the front on the side one so there's a little bit of a star in the middle sort mm -hmm. of <laughs> but you could have a letter in there i think that's a fab idea yeah. you really personalize yeah, it yeah absolutely really or you know initials it. either side or whatever yeah. so you've got 10 meters of your 0 0.8 10 meters of your 0 0.25 this is more than likely going to be a sellout deal not only because it's a cracking prize not only because you're going to need these gauges to finish this look but also because we've already had so many people messaging in about when exactly this chartreuse colored wire is going to be it's here right now for a tiny price won't be today 14 pounds and 90 pence that's not the price you're going to be paying this is designer inspiration you know we're going to do you a cracking deal 20 meters eight pounds and 95 wow. pence for you today that's what a, are you thinking of that's that that's a cracking deal isn't it that's a cracking deal that is exceptional deal that you've yeah. got today it truly truly is 10 meters of your 0 0.8 10 meters of your 0 0.25 for you today to finish off nelly you're gonna need these two and at that price you're gonna need them as well especially if you've got my nylon jawed pliers earlier mm. on they're great with this and <laughs> It's just such a smashing deal to be there. able to give to you today. The website has gone loop de loop crazy with the amount of people on there. It's a stampede, says Pip. <laughs> it absolutely is. Loads of you rushing to the phone lines now, all of you trying to get your hands on this. 
I can say that I'm sure it will be a sellout at this point. I am so, so sure it will be. There you go, Brian got his wire. Oh, Brian, you did as well. Nice work, Brian. Have you checked out your basket yet? Brian, check that basket out, you. Loads of you getting your hands on this. I've got someone purchasing two. I've got two people buying two. There's loads of you getting your hands on this today. Chartreuse wire is so popular. So versatile as well. It really is. Yeah. Stems, flowers, leaves. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But it's very contemporary as well. It's, mm. it's a lovely colour. And you're going back to your pinks will go, obviously, because of the green. But mixing it with the green and you get a nice contemporary feel. Mixing it with the black or the copper wow whoa yeah power pop and um, you're back to doing your wire twisting and stuff like that or doing a, a double viking knit or anything like that you've got that color lovely how wonderful there is loads of you getting your hands on this imperative at this point that you all of you i can't even count you um you check out your baskets there's loads of you on the phones for this as well it's going to be a sellout that is for sure today for 20 meters of chartreuse wire, it's a tiny eight pounds and 95 pence for you. So where are we gonna be starting? We've got up all of our bits, as a right. little recap. Yeah. We've done the frame, which the template will be put on at the end of the show onto Facebook yeah. for this. Um, we've done all the spirals, all the swirls, all the scrolls. We've made the body, the yeah. ear, the tail, the underbelly, the trunk. Yeah. So we've got all of the mainframe yeah. area. Yeah. Fab. So what we need to do now is is finish off each side with the face furniture, shall we call it? So mm. we need the ear on, we need the eye on, and we need the tusk on. Yeah. Okay. So in my bag. The are they <gasps> I'm so sorry, I've got to interrupt. I've just okay. realized. It's a hundred meters of the 025. A hundred and ten meters. Alison, one hundred and ten meters. It, I know For it's a cracking price. pounds and ninety-five pence. Why do you think they've been double buying? Right, where's my phone? This is ridiculous. A <laughs> hundred and ten meters. It's because it's on the small coil. That's why, mm. threw me right off. A hundred and ten meters. Oh, I love this. Mm. Eight pounds, I'm not surprised people are multi-buying galore on this. I tell you what the 0.25 is good for as well. If you've got the the um, uh, gizmo, the deluxe gizmo, yeah. the smallest of the gizmo mm. mandrels, mandrels, you can make delicate little coils. They're the most delicate with that and they're they're teeny and they're beautiful dainty. very dainty and use them to weave in and out of things absolutely Super gorgeous beautiful. i love that idea okay this is going to be a sellout possibly in the next several minutes uh do get your hands on it really really quickly if you want 110 meters beautiful chartreuse wire 8.95 sorry to interrupt i just You're had fine. to say that and 20 you... meters i thought mm -hmm. i thought that's good actually i just need to turn around because i put all my tools okay Oh, is that the voice? <laughs> the, what? the voice. You know, where the Kylie oh. Minogue is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you like. No, going, no, I don't think I'd quite make, chair. I'd make two Kylie Minogues. What? Uh, can you sing? <laughs> no. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely don't. don't. No, 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 no karaoke? Uh, no. No. No, I clear places. So you won't be up on the karaoke tomorrow at the uh, birthday no. party? No. no. All right, no. okay then. No, I have, I have a very downing effect if I sing. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, I love Stick it. me on the terraces and I'll sing because you can't hear me, but anywhere, anywhere else. Anywhere people can hear me, oh, it's a bad move. Shower. Are you a shower singer? Everyone's a shower and car singer, aren't they? A car singer. I'm definitely a car, car singer. singer. Top. Friends of mine have told me, I, I very rarely have the car. We have a car and a transit, mm -hmm. so I'm usually in the tranny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing what friends you have when you've got a transit. Yeah. But anyway, friends had asked me if I could go for, for an outing with them to a well-known DIY place yeah. to fetch stuff back. Um, and they were in the car behind me. And we stopped at the traffic lights and they said the van was just bouncing. No, because you were just, <laughs> just jamming along. along. Oh, I love that. A little car Singing bop. off the top of my head. Oh, nothing oh, better yeah. than a car bop. Oh, you've got to. You've got to. 
But yes, this is the van bounces. I love that. Um, right, so if we start with the eye. Now the eye are these, were these garnets, were they? Aren't they beautiful? Uh, is it, is it garnets? Because they're in the, in the kit there. We're bringing these in a little oh, bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, don't be sorry. No, don't be silly. I'm jumping the gun. No, you're not at all. These are garnet by the looks of things. They are stunning. Stunning, I will bring they? the gemstones to you really, really shortly. They're beautiful. I love them. I didn't get the blue strand. Ooh, you've got oh, these. we've sneaked Ooh. another one in. Wow. But never mind. <laughs> I, I did all right with the ones I had. You did really be. Right. So I've only used one of these teeny... Teeny, teeny garnets. Are they two mil? They look... No, they're, they're three. not. Three, four they're, mil. I was going to say the, big, the other ones yeah, are two are. mil. They're slightly bigger. Like four mil, maybe. I'll let you know it later. So, um, thread it on and then... If what you'll find is your scrolls are different and if you look at his eyes one eye is actually in a scroll and one eye is down below a scroll doesn't matter so long as your eye is there roughly at the same height yeah then then it, it, it don't panic don't think oh gosh I've got to undo those and get my scrolls the same no no Fine. no no so you want to make a few wraps around and there we go, I've got a small bit again, and that will hurt my fingers. So, I should have used the bigger end. I'm gonna use, leave the tail there for now. Then I'm gonna thread that back on, because it would have fallen off. And this is threading on that red garment yeah. that I'll bring to you in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it across to the nose. Okay. And that looks about right for the eye. Yeah. Okay. So do you just judge the eye by eye, if that makes yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Just put it where it looks right for you. You know, you could, well, that might be a bit high, you know, that. So somewhere in that sort of area. Yeah. Near, nearish to the front, because these are going to be splayed, the two sides are splayed. So okay. wrap it a couple of times round. But then what I've done is I've then wrapped, taken the wire and framed the garnet. And literally, all I've done is very gently wrapped the wire around, and where it comes up, if you hang on to there, there we go, push it down. Which way do you want me to show you that? That's it. So that you get a little bit of a frame around it, just to make it stand out that little bit more. Yes. Yeah, and and it's just a tiny little thing, but it just adds rather than just being the little bead loose on its own i suppose you could have used a bigger bead but i quite like they've if you look at elephants they have got actually quite teeny little eyes for the size of them yeah, you're right you know yeah, they really little do piggy eyes yeah you know because pigs have quite small eyes for, for the size in yeah. the relation to the size of their body an elephant's eye is very small i think it's to do with the, the predator prey thing because there's not a lot of things take down elephants Wow. So they don't need to have, you know, Amazing huge eyes for, that, that peripheral vision. I might be wrong, that but sounds, that's sounds I could sounds plausible. It. I could believe it. As my mother says, if you say it with conviction, <sighs> it's fine. Yeah. Last chance saloon on the wire deal. Gosh, already three, fourteen in baskets. Pip just told me. Thanks, Dr. Callan. Fourteen in baskets. Twelve on the phone. Pip says, I'm in my last chance saloon. This is an imperative to check out as soon as you can. Last chance saloon means that I've got 30 or less, le less left. Eight pounds, 95 pence today. 110 meters of wire in the chartreuse. Now you see, I was paying attention yesterday and I'm waiting for you to go to the bar and mine a vodka. Oh, is it? <laughs> right, okay. What with? Uh, orange. Body orange. All yeah. right, I'll see what I can do. Vodka and orange. We're not at that point yet. We're not quite in the bar yet. Mm. Not quite at the bar. Not yet, no, no. Right. Almost. So you've got this whole strand that you basically, you've only used a few beads off yeah. to play with. Fantastic for rings and everything. Absolutely stunning. They are stunning, aren't they? Beautiful little beads. Put those back in. They're so rich, proper garnet, oh, rich they are. red, aren't they? they? Are. Juicy. Right, so we've got the eye. We're now going to put the ear on. Now we've got our bit that we left over. So that's the tail? No, the ear. The tail that you left over of the wire, I mean. Uh, no, 
Oh, I see. So it's like, no, this isn't it's quite the tail. confusing <laughs> because we are talking about the elephant. I mean, yeah, the, the wire tail. tail. Yes, yeah, yeah. That makes it's sense. Like, tail, no, tail's over there. <laughs> okay, so again, you want to put it, you don't want it miles back. They're fairly far forward. So somewhere round about this loop is where you want it. And you want it to be, you know, think about where you want it height wise do you want it quite sticky uppy you know if you wanted to you could have it flat back oh yeah you, you, you know I've, I've had mine sticking out for greater impact mm. and this is where you can shape it then to fit around where you've got your your scrolls yeah I see so on the inside you want to bend these over and what we're going to do is we're going to trim these just leaving Ooh, half, half a centimetre pretty good for me I don't do centimeters I'm at the bar no. now are you at the bar I'm you at are... the bar oh so few of this Body left. orange three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen with the tin baskets thirteen with you in baskets I am at the bar in the last chance saloon that means I have got 20 or less available wow. 895 for you get them whilst you can <laughs> right so all I'm going to do with that half is actually turn it over and I'll do the same with this size. So leaving the half a centimetre. Yeah. Oops. And then just curl it around. Now that's actually very loose. You could leave it there and have very waggly ears. Yeah. But I actually they do bound it in. Ears, don't they? Yeah. I actually bound it in a bit more securely with, with my tail. <laughs> with your wire of tail. <laughs> yeah. Tail of wire, yes. And why was that? You just wanted yours to be... Well, partly I, I wanted it to be fairly fixed, but also because I'd... Um, I'd add, actually added them after I'd wired it together. Oh, of course you It had. was a bit more difficult. I kind of did a, a half loop and hooked it through and was trying to tighten it. So I, I wanted it to, to be extra secure. Mm -hmm. So if you want them to waggle a bit, then that's fine. If you want them to be fixed, I would just then wire through. And if you go through the wrapping and pull it down, you won't actually see... Um, where this wire goes. Brilliant, I see. And you only need to do a few times and that's already a bit more solid. Yeah, it's got more security, yeah. isn't it now? Put it down, go through there. And each time it's just strengthening it, but it does it tucks away, it's pretty much yeah. invisible actually, and isn't that, it? If you had this if you had this um in the point six, it would stand out more. Yes, of course. Whereas you know if you look you'll see the stitching but you've got to you've got to go and look for it yeah so we'll do one more and then we'll finish him off it's just the security then yeah. as well isn't there yeah it, it's just that extra bit of security so your wire for the elephant is at the bottom and that was 100 metres of your 1 mil and 100 metres of your 0.4. That's the one at your bottom of your screen, £10 saving for you if you've just tuned in. It's £32.90. And the one at the side is the chartreuse, but I tell you what, you're going to have to be quick because those are still 13 of you. 14 of you now actually with it in your baskets. You've really got to check out 8 95 for you today on the right. chartreuse. So we've now got a half elephant with a, a nose and an eye. No, yeah. an e Wait, an ear yeah, and an, an ear, eye. An ear, we've yeah. got a nose. Right, we just want to put a tusk on. Now these, and I think they're shell, aren't they? The little yes. chips. And they're fab because they're all little shapes. And we, we, we thought of it for ages, what could we use as tusks? tusks? So I figured if we got a square end, it would mean that it had been, um, you know where they cut them off? So yep. to stop people killing them for their tusks. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'd say if, if it was a square end, that's what had happened. And mm. if it was rounded, they got a little tusk. <laughs> I like that. I love how your imagination <laughs> yeah. works. Look at this strand. I'm bringing you the gemstones right now. Isn't this fab? This is so beautiful. It's white agate, this, you know. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, 150 right. carats worth we've got here of these oh. and they're six by three to 12 by 11 
38 centimetre strand. Look at the variety you've got on here. Did but, you just pick out the ones you wanted? Yeah, and, and like I say, I've used two, well, three now. But this, with the copper, would make a fantastic summery necklace. Love You've that. got plenty of copper wire left. Mm. Throw in that or, or add in a bit of the green as well. I just took one off. Where did it go? I think that's a really nice idea, actually. That chartreuse wire is at the bottom if you want to get your hands on the last couple. I've also got in this bundle two of your tiger's eye. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. To get... Chitoyancy on something this small is absolutely amazing. Two mil, two strands you've got of this. And you use these in this section yeah. here, didn't we? Yeah. And they are gorgeous. And you can see the colour. You really can. You really can. They're gorgeous. They are so beautiful. And it may look, there's, there's dark areas on here, but then there's really beautiful almost honey as yeah. well running through yeah. there isn't there two strands of this each strand has got 10 carats on in the two mil sticking with this tiny size you've also got two strands of the two mil here as well with this beautiful really zesty green agate these just work spectacularly well together don't they oh don't they just it's chocolate limes isn't it yes the amount of things you could do, if I pop that agate down, just these two together. Yeah. Because it is that, again, forestry colouring. Yeah. That, those together were beautiful. They really were beautiful. Lengthy strands, again, aren't they? 30 centimetres mm. on each of these, and they are absolutely just strung on. The, the seed beads that we've had recently, Every time we've had them on, they have just oh. leapt out. Why do you think that is? Well, people are getting into the, the, the well, the, they're using them man, manually, off loom, but also the loom weaving. Yeah, of course. And if I'd have had a loom, I would have made the blankie with the loom. But I haven't got a loom, so <laughs> I had to hand do it. You had to do it by hand. Oh, bless you. <laughs> but they, they would be fab on a loom. They would, they're perfect fab. for it, aren't they? If yeah. you've got a loom, these would be absolutely perfect yeah. for it, of course. As well as this, I've got this beautiful look at this. This strand's not actually in there, is it? No, I'm leaving that to the side. This is <laughs> your red garnet that we have here. 30 carats worth of this. These are your two mil rounds that you have here of genuine red garnet. The garnet, I love the garnet. And the garnet with the little greens, stunning. Isn't it really, yeah. really beautiful? Yeah. And we do get this blue garnet. Now, let me just check with you gentlemen, not blue garnet, blue agate, that'd be unique. <laughs> blue garnet, it? wow. That'd be unusual. Um, I have also got nine carats of your blue agate. Now, gentlemen, let me just check with you. Is what I've got in front of me, what the people on the website are gonna be able to see? Double check, because on my graphics in front of me, there is no blue agate mentioned, but I've got it in front of me, and apparently, it's meant to be in this bundle. You mm. didn't get it either, did you? I didn't have it. I didn't check both of the bags, mm. um, because I actually made, uh, I had um, some left over. But no, I didn't, unless I dropped it. Hang on. Apparently, producer Pip's description is different to mine as well, oh. which is fun. I've got a feeling when we were putting it together, there was there was the blue. So I'm sure there was. In Pip's description, didn't... we've got two yellow tiger's eye, which I have yep. here for you, um, 10 carats of each. Two green agate, which I have here, nine carats worth. I've got the red garnet here in the... Three now? Browns. You've also got the agate, and we do get the blue apparently. Yeah, Fantastic. Pip says, Pip says, I promise you, you do get the blue. I <laughs> promise you do. So we have got the nine carats of the blue agate as well here. What a great selection. So two, four, six, seven strands in total. Get your hands on these to create your beautiful final pieces of wonderful Nelly. The price is not. £22.65, but I love that price. That's a, that, yeah, you're getting a lot for that price. I still can't believe how they actually managed to do the two mil ones. <laughs> I find it amazing. 
15 pounds 95 wow pounds. that's good you've got garnet in there yeah yeah and i've got to say Six i'll guns. be honest with you my description says two mil for the garnet they're no. definitely slightly bigger than the other two it mil ones. It actually says from two mil. Right. So I'm guessing that these, because if we have a look, you can oh, tell the difference in size, yeah. can't you, between these ones and these ones. I'm guessing three or four mil on those. Mm. The genuine, beautiful red garnet. And they are, they're a lovely red wine colour. They really are, aren't they? Totally fab for you. Seven strands in total for £15.95. and pence. So what's that working out per strand? £2.28. That's what it is. £2.28. And you've got garnet. You've got garnet in there. That is so exceptional. WNGC93 to finish this beautiful elephant creation for just over £2 per strand. £15.95 for you today. It goes absolutely beautiful with these doesn't it it really really does you could really have a bit more play with the colors i don't know what i've done i'll have to go and search for it at home and fetch it back with me next time i don't know what i've done with the other blue one there well don't worry because it might well it's not you it's not you <laughs> it's, it's us i'm sure it could have been knocked by the labrador's tail no what's your lab called again you're mares. Me. mares i mares. do remember oh. mares the fairs mares your fairs <laughs> bless him right so for the tusk we want it, you want it below the eye. Yeah. Let me come that way round. So we're just going to add the tusk in. And you just want something that, that tapers a little bit. And it's just to put a little bit of, of the ivory colouring there. Yeah. And, and it, I know it's not a proper tusk shape, but to be fair, it's the hint of it. Mm. You know, that's what you need. And if anyone queries it, say it's been trimmed off to save it from being killed killed That's yeah it. for its, for its just in case any of your visitors have come to your house actually thought they'd kill it just to get the ivory that's why you did it yeah absolutely very good yeah. very good so it's a little bit fiddly because you're trying to wrap it onto a piece of wire but if you hold the wire and the, hang the on, let me the tusk and the it tusk were. yeah let's just call it a tusk and then feed it through and then do the same with the one through the bottom of the bead then you should get it reasonably stable but okay. you've got to do it quite tight what you will find is when you then put the viking knit on it slides underneath and it will hold it in place i see so wrap it around a few times now what i did was i left the tails <laughs> i'm calling it tails again <laughs> <laughs> you left the tails there because as you can see it sort of moves around a bit yeah so until i got the viking knit until i got the two together I left the tails hanging a little bit. I see. So we've basically now got all, all our furniture on our little elephant. What we need to do next is put it all together. So the first thing we need to do is take our belly piece yes. and stitch it onto one of the elephants. So all, all this, all that we're going to do now, it all just gets together by stitching. Okay. Everything's sewing. Right. And don't worry if your elephants start doing the splits because you just squidge them back together. So with one of them, if you just follow it and roughly get it into shape around the belly, mm -hmm. and then it just comes up the back end yeah. a little bit, okay? So you want it to sort of taper at the relevant position. And then we'll <laughs> be, be very careful what words I use there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was very skillfully done. <laughs> and for stitching it, I'm just using 0.4 wire. Okay. So I started at the front and you only put it on one side to begin with. So you get it fixed to one side because otherwise it's so fiddly trying to get it to do. To do both sides yeah. at once. And you only need four or five places to wrap it. There, well, actually, there's two ways of doing it. Okay. Right. You can either put, like I say, four or five sections of wrap. And what I would do is get some offcuts and roughly put it in place first. 
because otherwise it gets very fiddly. Okay. So let me just do that because. Just anchoring it on. Those just anchoring be removed, it on. Doesn't need to yeah. be. Nice. Because otherwise I'm going to be going all over the place and then you're going to shout at me because my hands will be going everywhere. I won't shout at you, Alison. Don't worry. Because if I shout at you, you might not give me an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to have a go at this, you know. I'll, d I'll do. Where do. would you say on the scale of why you're working on your jewellery journey you need to be to be able to have a go at this? You could do it. Um, the scrolls take practice. Mm -hmm. It's all just a little bit of practice. I wouldn't say it was a beginner's piece, mm -hmm. but I would say it's if you're a beginner, you're capable of doing it. Yeah. But most beginners get so daunted about doing a piece like this that they wouldn't even contemplate trying it. No. If you've got, if you're a beginner and you're quite adventurous, it's doable. There's nothing mega con complicated. complicated it's a bit fiddly and it's time consuming mm. so it it and i'm not going to kid you you can't do it in five minutes no of course it takes quite a while to finish one of these yeah um so don't think you know i'll start it tonight tonight and it'll be finished tomorrow no fair dues if you do <laughs> you won't have had much sleep <laughs> um i would say it's a sort of intermediate yes but if you're a, if you're a confident beginner have a go have a go you could even do it sort of get it to that stage fill it out with the with all of it and just have a half yes. and put that on a brooch pin beautiful yeah brooch pin. absolutely or no problem or, or have it as a pendant do a smaller version of it i always think as well i don't know about you but for me whenever i make something mm. the second time i make it is always better easier. and the third time yeah. i make it it's always better and easier and quicker to do yeah. so even if you are a beginner and you do the first one you think I'm quite proud of that but yeah. it's not that great the next time you have a go i'm sure it'll improve for you i always say to people who are starting off in jewelry making mm. or in a, a, any craft really yeah keep some of your first pieces always always keep them yeah. and do it regularly actually look back at what you've gone and you've gone wow not necessarily that they're rubbish no but your style develops you you get your own sense of when you start you try everything but you start developing your own style for doing things totally and you start that. perfecting your style Definitely. and it's interesting if you go back and look at your journey it's really really interesting so always always put away a few pieces that's Always. a really good tip. I like that tip a lot. Um, but yes, you, you're, you're quite right. Um, to do the first one takes a while. And for me, it takes it, it takes a while because I'm sussing out how to do it as well. You're working at all the yeah. bits and bobs. And so, mm. but, but the more you do, the more you, you learn how to do them. Yes, I see. So, right. So I said there's two ways of stitching it together. There's the way where you do three or four wraps like that. In, in in various places yeah. four or five places along the, the, the tummy mm -hmm. or you can take one piece of wire and literally thread it through and stitch with it all the way along so this is the easier piece but I would say it's the slightly more untidy but you're still not going to see it because it's only four mil wire yeah and you're not going to see it and you literally just thread it front to back and you're doing like a running stitch if if you if you sew yeah. you're literally just going through the belly and through the frame and pulling them together and that's and that's it and you can that's the quickest way of doing it mm -hmm. and it probably is you get you get slightly um slightly less tidy than if you did it the other way but as you can see i'm zipping along quite easily and yeah, quite quickly are. um and i'll just get it to the end and as you get to where you've put your temporary bits you take them off to use them as your scrap put it in your little scrap pot and use it to tie something else together later you yeah. will eventually get to the point where it'll it'll just collapse on itself but then you can keep it again though can't you oh stick you it back in your cra in your pot for stick for it scrap back in, for scrapping yeah i think i've got a long way to go before i get my scrap but i'm getting i'm building it yeah exactly 
Waste every not, little not, helps. Absolutely. Every, what is it? Pennies make pounds. Yeah. Look, and at, look after the makes, pennies and the pounds. Look after themselves. That's the one. Look, off, okay. look after your copper wire ends and <laughs> the copper stash will look after itself. Smooth that, isn't it? It is. Quite it catchy. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure it'll take <laughs> off. No, possibly not. Um, <laughs> right, hang on. I've just got so you've a zipped bit. along there real quick. I have you? zipped along really quick. I've so, yeah, like I say, and if you look if you can get close in on there you can see the difference you could either have these these along there these um blocks or you can see where the stitching's going mm, but see. but when you've got it on the shelf or, or even when you pick it up and look at it you won't notice those you really won't I'm notice sure them won't. um so it's it's up to you whichever whichever way you prefer to do i'm in the habit of doing those but I've also used this technique for other things. So it's personal preference and the, the stitching way, shall we say, is a lot quicker mm. than, than the wrapping and a lot less uh, painful on your fingers. That's a good tip then. And you're right, you really can't tell either way actually, can no. you? Huh? If you're looking really close, you can see, but and if you're looking really close as a wire worker, yeah, I would suggest as well. If you're looking really close and it's yours, you can see exactly where they are. Absolutely, can. <laughs> it's always the way. It's like, oh, that I did. Um, I did a wire wrap, a weave, mm. and I had to undo it because about a third of the way along, and I'd nearly finished this section, I could see one was slightly out, but there was only one out. Now, if they were all random. It, been fine. it was fine, but because there was one out, <laughs> your eye draws, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Time after time. And the thing is, as soon as you see it, you can't. You know, it's always there, isn't it? Yeah, always. It's always there. So once we've got it on our half, we're going to put the other half to it. Now, I'll just use this empty half one for now. Okay. Just to give us the idea. Yeah, okay. it, 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 it's exactly the same. Okay. Exactly the same. So where are we? We're attaching that onto the other side. So we're going to attach. We've got both sides with our ears, our eyes, our nose, and our, uh, our tusks done. Yeah. Right. And then we're going to put that against it. And this is where the fine tweaking comes. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So your your behind bit might need a bit of tweaking so that it all fits in the same place mm -hmm. your belly might need tweaking to fit it in the same place that might need tweaking so you know because you've done them they're not going to be identical but an elephant isn't no 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 one a human face isn't even no. perfectly symmetrical is it no and all you need to do is then fit it to the other one and literally and it would be quicker to do it with the stitching method. Yeah. You're going to go literally all the way round the, from the back and from the head. Way. No, sorry, from behind the ears. Yeah. All the way down, and then we're going to go on the belly. Yeah. The legs are separately. Okay, and then we're going to splay the faces open. So I will do this very very quickly. How are we? How are we time wise? Oh, don't worry. Have You've we got plenty got of about fifteen minutes? Am I right? Right. Okay. Cool. Whilst you're doing that, can yeah. you, you can wrap and answer, can't you? I can. Is that all right? Yeah. We've got fifteen minutes all in all. Right. Okay. Cool. Is that enough time? Yeah. We can give you more if you need. This. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's not a lot to do with this, and then we can whiz through that one. Hi, Becky and Alison. This is from Terry in. Wrexham. Hello, Terry. All right, Terry. I used to work group. in Wrexham. Terry's in our B group. Oh, really? Yeah. If it's the same, Terry. Hi, Terry. Um, hi, Becky and Alison. Loving the elephant. But oh. for Alison's next challenge, <laughs> what you I do? think <laughs> you should do a snake coming out of a basket. Love to all, Terry. <laughs> Just wait till I see you. Up. That is a brilliant idea. <laughs> Great one. It would be. It would be quite a good one, actually. I'll bring me recorder. Do, 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 Excellent. Do, that kind of. Excellent. Terry, genius. 
snake for Love the, that you idea. could very easily do a snake coming out of a basket very very easily Got another one here for you, Alison. Yeah. S in Devon. Oh, mysterious. Ooh, Alison, I am a wire beginner, okay. but a very special person to me loves elephants. I've got to make this for her. Luckily, I have until January. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> There's, like I say, it's not. When I say it's an intermediate, it's it's purely because. It's, it's daunting for a lot of beginners. There's no reason why you can't have a go at it. Absolutely no reason at all. And if you get stuck, give me a shout on Facebook. Tell us how to get in touch with you on Facebook for anyone right. who's not seen you before. Jewelry maker. Is that one word uh, or is guest it JM? Guest designer. Is it, oh gosh. Thank you. <laughs> JM guest designer, Alison Tarry. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm easy to get confused. <laughs> JM, the initials, guest designer. Alison Alison what's your picture of? Oh. Oh. I don't know. Is it a picture of you? Is it a picture no. of her? Oh. Oh, it might be actually. <laughs> no. I, no. Yes. I might, it is. I might yeah. have actually because I no. hate. Yes. I hate pictures of me. I love it. I hate it. Why taking pictures? Oh, do you? It, yeah. It's really weird. I can cope with a camera, with a with with these cameras. Mm. Can't do a still camera. Hate you know. It. No. Do you have a go-to pose? No. No. I stand behind it. I do. do I'm a photographer. Mine? You might notice okay. this from a headshot. <laughs> go-to every time, Stop. even if there's a camera, even if it's not for me. Let's walk past. <laughs> I am going to bring to you just whilst you're wrapping yeah, uh, yeah. this to the end because I Go want on. you to be in the right place. Shears. Ooh, the shears. The shears. Have a look at these. These are your professional, professional jewellery tool. Have a little look at these. These are great for your wire cutting. They are stainless steel, which means that they're gonna last and last and last. You've got the strength in there as well. They've got the comfort grip handle area as well, which means that when you cut with these, not only is it nice, comfortable for your hands, but also you're going to get that really smooth cut, professional edge on there. You truly, truly are. Now, the shears themselves, there's something that, last time we had them on, they were oh so, so popular mm. because you do have loads of different aspects of this. So you've got the adjustable tension in here that you can change up. Um, you've also got the specially designed edges for cutting. You can use these on wire, papers, ropes. What else can you use this on? Rubber tubing. You can use this on corrugated iron. You can use these with so many, so many different mediums, so many different, so many different goodies. Now your mum said that she wanted yeah. some, didn't she? She's really, really taken up the the um, uh, aluminium jump ring. Oh, jump bug. Oh, good. Big style. Has she? Big style. In fact, that reminds me. I need to find out from Debbie Bulford when her next lesson is oh when her next tutorial yeah, is yeah. The, the, she's been following them are you i know i can tell you the answer oh can you that. go on we haven't got one booked in yet oh, that's no. the honest truth about oh, it we haven't got one no. booked in yet but we right. will do we've just got to flex dates and yeah, things like yeah, that for yeah. everyone oh uh, there you go mum that's why you couldn't find it see happy to help happy <laughs> i to remember help. To, to ask well done <laughs> stainless steel metal and wire shears so she's going to be using them and, for and they're jump supposed rings. to be go great for doing jump rings yeah in fact Terry's got a pair and we use them for doing jump rings mm. and they're fab. Um, but I, I had an inkling of using them with the challenge. Have we got any in the drawer? I love that. You can use these ones. Can I? Yeah, of course you can. Anything for you, Alison. <laughs> Yeah, use them in the challenge. See how they are and let us know yeah. how they are. Yeah. Your price on these today is a tiny £14.95. Because they're so strong. I had to go of Terry's and they're fab. They are fab, they're aren't they? Straight through. And they are stainless steel and they have got that that spring again so it's gonna work and um, apparently i've got a message coming through do terry do 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 do. <laughs> glad you like it have a great birthday tomorrow we will <laughs> alison see you next sunday we will do see you next sunday terry don't go anywhere terry don't be like see you bye i'm off 
Stay where you are, Terry. <laughs> Stay no, come down are. from Wrexham. We like that a lot. <laughs> Fourteen ninety-five for you on these today. Crap. Brilliant. So we've bound it all together now. You've splayed the yeah. A. So base. yeah, I've, I've I've literally just held onto the bottom of the nose and put my fingers in and pushed the head open a little bit. Brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to attach the nose. And literally, you just slide it up. And this is where I say it'll start. Push it as far up as you can. And then just, all I've done with that one is tip the bottom. And then you've got the tail of this. Whoops. Be careful. You may well find, like, like I have, that you've squashed his face a bit. Mm. Don't worry. You can just pull it back. That's oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose it's more sturdy anyway when it's actually yeah. all got yeah. the um, scrolls inside. And, and then I've used the tail of the Viking knit, and it'll do that till you've got it secured, to then stitch it onto the trunk. And you're just taking it through, wrapping it behind where there's some scrolls or whatever, just to secure it into position. And that's, and that's all you're doing with that. And then again, I've taken the tails from the tusk and threaded those through the Viking knit again to just double secure it and that's what helps secure the tusk into, into position place. brilliant and then there's only one thing left to do and that in my in my little box of you see I come with a little oh, box yeah, full look of at you, all your scrolls and your spare bits got all these that's fabulous I, I'll, I'll sit and just just I was doing them on the way down here do an extra scroll hence all the bits in the box not the bit box and you just want to stitch one in the head I see just and the same area. stitching and that just finishes off that bit and that's your drag your dragon that's your elephant finished finished how fab is that I've had a question right can we use these for memory wire for what sorry memory wire mmm I don't know I'm not sure either Um. It depends what you're going to use them. If you're going to use it for doing your um, jump rings and your finer stuff, I'd be very loath to use them on memory wire because in case, it's yeah, because the memory wire is so tough. tough it, so I've strong. no doubt these would cut memory wire. I've no doubt. But how much damage you do to these by cutting memory wire? So if that's all you were doing with them, fine. Fine. But if you wanted to get your nice straight edges on your jump rings mm -hmm. I wouldn't use them for memory wire no good tips yeah you want to really you want memory wire cutters yeah either memory wire cutters or an old pair of pliers that have that gone blunt yeah you know and you can hack into it almost yeah and it it's the same matter, way as it? I wouldn't use the flush cutter cutter the flush cutter wires will cut it but I won't use them on it because it, it, it just ruins yeah, them. Definitely, yeah, it's not does. worth it. I hope that helped to you. Have yeah. messaged that in. So the elephant is complete, Tracy. Right. That was. Thank you very much, Tracy and Cheshire. Um, so, so it's just the top. Head to dress and now. Yeah. That yeah. is absolutely brilliant. I don't know where my wire is. So can I? Would you like to borrow my chartreuse? Yeah, I thought I'd got everything out and ready. I thought I was being organised for once. No, don't be silly. No need. Right. Okay. Depending on how big you've made your elephant, obviously, depends. Mm. And also you could make it, some of them, if you look in the in, in pictures of Indian elephants, they go almost down to the ground. You can go to town with these blankets. Depends. Yeah. I wanted to show quite a lot of the scrolls and the wire work underneath, mm -hmm. as well as um, having the blankie. So I made mine fairly smallish. Brilliant. So put a bend in. Um, what about a uh, two inch, five centimeters ish? Yeah, about five yeah. centimeters. And then a couple of centimeters. centimeters. Um, I would go about five centimeters again. A couple of centimeters. I would I would measure those two to get them not necessarily with a ruler, just with your pliers or something, because that definitely even to the eye wasn't level. I see. So it, just, it makes a difference. That well, only because when you're threading them on, um, you want that length to be the same for your for your beads. Because if you can only fit ten beads on one of and twelve course. on another, your really pattern's going to go a bit haywire. Really good point. Okay. Then I've left um, two bits at the end and splayed them out slightly. 
and you'll understand why in a minute so I've got my join in the middle and that's because it can then splay open and it sits over the back neatly so it, it, it because they cross it holds it in place okay yeah. so that's our frame for it for the headpiece literally I just made a V <laughs> okay not, not not complicated no. and this V fluctuated as I added the beads to get the right spacing so yeah. I let the beads dictate where they went okay now the patterns I've used I can put the pa patterns the little little block pattern up on Facebook if you want if anyone wants it but you can do anything literally if you want to work out your pattern I would say don't use your beads no because they will go everywhere mm -hmm. Get yourself a piece of graph paper or a grid on a computer and colour block. Get your felt pen and a bit of craft paper and just colour them in. Block. And then you know where you're going. And it and it's literally just that, just making a pattern. I mean that one was very simple. I didn't I didn't do that. I, w I did it as I went because I knew I wanted this border. Mm -hmm. So with our 0.25. This is at the bottom of the screen, by the way. The uh, 0.25 100 meters and 10 meters you 0.8 that's at the bottom 8.95 for you today a handful left of that handful okay now I did take it off the reel okay because otherwise you've got to thread all the beads on first yes and then you've got to know what yeah. your pattern is beforehand thread them all on and then you risk them slipping off and yeah oh, yeah oh. I get it you can add in extra, so don't worry if you run out. But I probably cut off about a metre. Okay. About a metre, hang on. Almost a metre. Yeah. Shoulder to the tips of my fingers is a metre. I okay. measured it once. Good tip. <laughs> Everyone's will be different. Of course, yeah. But, but I measured it because I get told off because when I come on here, I forget to measure things. <laughs> Do you? So at least now you know. So I know that that's a metre. <laughs> I say, oh, it's about half a metre or a metre. So <laughs> wrap it round a few times, starting off with one corner. And I've started off. I started off with the green. Yeah. And I, I just used the green and the um, 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 the brown tiger's one. eye. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Now it was Mark Smith, I think, did this once. With yeah, it must have been Mark with his chips. Smith. Yeah, that's his name. Just, just <laughs> sorry, Mark. <laughs> me <laughs> i was thinking have i got his name right there then, have, yeah um don't take them out don't take them off there because when they're like this if you're like me you have the devil's own job when they're two male trying to find the holes right even with me reading glasses on mm -hmm. so if you just fetch up two or three beads hold them between your finger and thumb fetch them to the end but not off not off okay Oh, hang on. I've Make got... sure the end of that's nice and smooth. Yeah, not the crinkle bit where, where they've got it. And all we're going to do is feed it in so that it's literally, it's on this and on the wire, and you can slide it off your thread makes onto life your wire. so much easier. Oh, you have no idea. It <laughs> really, really does. It. I've got to say, I, I'm not too bad with the smaller beads, but when I'm working with quackled anything, yeah. quackled yeah. quartz, my eyes just can't compute right. where the hole right. is. So uh, this is such a great technique for that. I mean, chips and nuggets, anything like that. Mm. It's such a, you don't know how much makes that was such easier. a super tip that, that I've used. It does Thank make you, Mark. life easier. It oh, really absolutely. Does. Absolutely. It, it, it's amazing. You, Cause I love watching the show. I've watched the show almost from the start mm. and the tips you pick up are brilliant. It's great, and on it? the Facebook page as well, it you go on there, good. and the tips you can pick pick up are phenomenal. Mm. So I've threaded on. I think that one took thirteen. Okay. Okay. So you'd have to work out. I kind of did it. Put them on. Said, "Oh well, I'll need another couple on there." So I've no idea how many I'm going to end up with this one. If you want to have a specific amount for a specific pattern, yeah get get the amount you want so the amount of holes you need um let, let's say you wanted 13 because you were doing that exact pattern yeah put 13 on the wire and then do 
your, your short bend. I see, brilliant, mould it around. Yeah, and, and get it so that you've got it exactly, because you'll never be able to, to guess it. And if they're too loose, they'll be waggling all over the place in your pattern. I mean, my pattern's a little bit waggly, but... Uh, right, let's thread those on. And the other thing is, they're not stuck. You can always take them off if you've got too many. Okay. Right. Let me get that out of the way. So, I've got too many there. Yeah. Yeah. So what I would do, all I'd do would say, right, I want that many. And then you can slide it between the gap and wrap it round. I would say three or four times. The reason you're wrapping it round so much is because you want to form, you want to go past the um, current bead, if you like, to get to the next one, the next row. You don't want that coming straight from there, if that makes sense. I could probably have taken another one I on. get you. Yeah? Yeah, I see what you mean. Do you, do you see what I mean? Yeah. And that very simple pattern, I've got, I've done two rows two beads all the way around the outside of the green so as you're going up in the pattern i've done two rows of pure green yeah yeah then i did two rows of gr two green the block in the middle so because it, i think it's 11 of the brown yeah two green yeah and then two green two brown uh, 11 brown two green two green two brown back to the green yes Brown green. brown green and yeah. you go up like that it, it's very easy and you can play with it you could do random patterns you could do little hearts little letters you could do like little you hearts. said you could do letters so easy on there i should have done a jm shouldn't i, I didn't think oh, of that at the time next time next time could have done a birthday jm oh yeah you could have oh. you can't get the guest designers these days oh can you? stop <laughs> yourself you it's your imagination going wild <laughs> i love the idea of that though initially and that's it and that just goes over and the same with the the headpiece the headpiece I mean I won't take like I say if you want me to I can put that pattern as a template on Facebook um, but have the world's your oyster and now you've got the blue strand as well just have a good play with it just have a go just absolutely but when you're doing this one I think I've gone one bead then two beads you then have three then beads, three beads. And yeah then you I, have i think i've done three beads yeah. a couple of times and then four beads and you basically just building it up like that and you can make it as wide or as, as narrow a, a diamond as you as want you want and that's it and then all i've done if i can borrow can i borrow nelly for yeah, a moment borrow nelly. literally all nelly is is remember um oh um what, what were they called national health glasses the, the plastic ones kids have with a real, with real the real hooker over, over hook the back. Over the ears, and that's yeah. basically all I did was I, I made the hook. So if you have a to look sit with behind the ears, the hook goes through. Yeah, I'll never get them in the same place now. And then now. it just links through. And he just and sits down. And then I've I've moulded the beads because it's wire to fit over his head. And there we have an elephant. Nelly the elephant, he is so beautiful. Yeah, he's a sweetie. We have a had sweetie. so much amazing feedback about this elephant. Good, good. I hope people really. I'd love to see lots. I'd love to see lots of them. I want to Please. see a whole herd of elephants going through, oh, the, going through the wall of fame. And if you can do a baby holding on oh, with its yeah. trunk to the tail. If you've, got, if you've got more time, do a little baby holding on to the trunk. It'd be so sweet. <laughs> After the break, I have got some more fabulous deals and Alison's challenge. See you after this. Let's get working. This Sunday, join us on Jewelry Maker as we celebrate our fourth birthday. We've got a jam-packed show in store featuring many of our guest designers to share their knowledge and skills. And we'll be introducing you to some brand new products, new tools, exclusive strands, brand new DVDs and much, much more. So join us this Sunday and help us to celebrate this very special day, Jewelry Maker's fourth birthday. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. I was doing my pausing. 
got the smallest head in the world. I've got a massive head. It's there. <laughs> Jury makeup! Woo! Oh, right. <laughs> I wish you were whooping. <laughs> Happy birthday. Jury maker! <laughs> if you miss a jewelry maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of jewelry maker footage. Search by show, date, or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday! I'm Cassandra. I'm Diamond Belia. <laughs> Happy birthday from the Jewelry Maker. Not the only weird one, there is Jenny as well. Welcome to Designer Inspiration. My name is Becky and working on her challenge, it is the ridiculously talented, oh so modest and genuinely wonderful, Alison Tarry. How's it going? It's all, oh, I'm going to clear this lot up before I start back on the other one, but we're getting there. We've got a couple of pieces coming. That's so. good. That's good. Yeah, I can see fun. a sneaky one behind you that I love actually. Yeah, it's how, been... is, how is it to work with so far, that rubber tubing? It's all right. It good, it's yeah? all right, yeah. And I'm going to have a sneaky play with something. Yeah, now we were having a little chat in yes. the break um just tell me what you were saying about the elephants we're just back to the elephant right. now because we were having just, a little chat in the break just, just about creating yeah. it just before we finish nelly um most of you know i do get quite um i do like things to be neat and, and symmetrical however like uh, um, some other pieces i've done with this you'll never ever get it symmetrical oh well I won't say never. It would be incredibly difficult and so time consuming to try and get them symmetrical. So don't make your scrolls all the same size. Don't try and do it because it doesn't matter. No, nobody's symmetrical, no human symmetrical, no, no animal symmetrical. So allow your scrolls to be different. Yeah. And if, if, and if they don't look symmetrical, they don't look like you're trying to be, they won't look out and it will look natural. So please don't, don't do it symmetrically and it will look fine. If you yeah. try and do it symmetrically, it will look odd. I know exactly, oh, exactly Doris. what you mean. Doris Bird. Doris Bird. Doris Bird. Oh, yes, Sorry. I remember. Doris and Nelly. Doris and Nelly. These are the birds that we're talking about, if Sorry. you haven't seen it. Gosh, when did you make these? It was God. a while ago. It was before Christmas. That was my Whoa. first ever thing for jewellery maker November that I ever did. November, was it? Yes. Yeah. Just, it, no, it was October, because it was... <laughs> foolishly agreed to do it i think it was two weeks before my wedding <laughs> yes of course Bonkers. because actually your wedding you did the bonsai trees with me I last did. time uh, have oh we my not done goodness anything since the bonsai trees we haven't done anything since God the bonsai blimey. trees and i've made a bonsai tree and i'm even showing you the photo fabulous yes, what a muppet i forgot i need to bring it oh next yes. time next time so really good tip there don't worry about the symmetry no don't try and make it symmetrical have random don't worry if your scrolls are different sizes you need them to be to fit because it's not around it's not a symmetrical shape no definitely so, yeah good tip thank you for letting okay. us know that now in my final hour can you believe it's the final hour oh. don't forget i've got a higher and lower coming up for you have a i can't wait for that on some aquamarine i'm going to start off with some wire work tools now we've actually already talked about one of these tools today in fact we've kind of talked about two one of alison's favorites <gasps> yes the wire twister six inch and we also mentioned this earlier the gizmoing coil oh, when yes. we were talking about the 025 and to use the yep. smaller rod on this yeah now tell me why that you love these two so much oh they're so versatile the twister you can have so much fun like i said just let me show you something can i pop over there yeah come on twist those two together fabulous look at that color wise that's absolutely fab. fabulous or with the um the, the fuchsia wire 
po color, color pop. You can play with colors. You can get fantastic effects with the wire twister tool. I've got, I got, it was Terry who showed me how to use it. Yeah. Uh, from the beading group. So um, yeah, I, I've, I've gone bonkers with it. I love it. Absolutely love it. The gizmo. Yeah, I was hooked on that as soon as I saw Rachel Norrison using it way oh, back when. Wowzers. Yeah. It is a stunning selection of tools, yeah. isn't it? But I've got more here in this kit. Oh, have you? Look. Oh, your peg. Got my peg. And I've got my, what do I call this? Anvil. No, that's not what I mean. Is it an anvil? Is that what I mean? Clamp. That's what I'm thinking. Clamp. Yeah, an anvil is something totally different. Sorry. This is your wonderful bench pin and anvil combination. Clamp. Clamp. Yeah, I call it a clamp, clamp as well. It says anvil. Clamp. Well, yeah, because you can hammer on top of it. Of course you can, yeah. It's an anvil clamp. Yeah. Which is tricky to say, actually. <laughs> um, you have got the clamp here. Now, the reason we've put this in the bundle with the gizmo is because to really get the most out of your gizmoing coiler, you actually want an, a, a clamp to clamp it to the table, which you yeah. get with the deluxe. But if you're just getting the standard one that I've got today, you don't get that. So you're going to be getting this with it. We've also talked about the anvil. You can hammer onto this and you can actually use this in a lot of different ways to create lots of different flat shapes, bending shapes, a totally different in curve shape down here as well. And if you put something between the jaws, you can, you can tighten it onto your wire and actually use that. So if you've got some of the bigger gauges of wire yeah. um, and you've twisted those, you can use that to help you actually then form those into shapes because by the time you've twisted some of the larger gauges, it's quite tough to move. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, the deal that we're doing on this is pretty ridiculous. The should be price for all of this is 32 and 85 pence which honestly is an amazing deal because think about it if you wanted to go and get yourself a clamp and anvil from a big duty store that was anywhere near the weight of this this is seriously sturdy anywhere near this quality and actually anywhere near as useful for the job of what mm. we're creating because you can get huge ones can't oh, you yeah, yeah but to get this size compact is really tricky so that's going to put you up there and the pliers and the pliers by themselves how much are these now 14.95 i was going to say they're about 14 when i bought them yeah they are 14 you're going to me again aren't you honestly I really am. I'm sorry to do this to you, Alison, because Thanks. I think you're amazing, but I'm going to anyway. Your Cheers. price today for all of this is a tiny £19. Wow. That's a bargain. Isn't it? it is when you think just the players themselves are 14 95 the anvil clamp is uh, 12 95 Yeah. So, uh, realistically, well, you couldn't even afford this and this together. No. And you're getting all the other extras with it. And I think when I bought the gizmo when it first came out, it was about £12 for the gizmo. I think you've got it cheaper now, but I think originally it was about £12 when I bought that as well. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Now, some... Oh, have we got a video of the pliers? That's a good idea. Yeah, let's have a little look. This is how to use the pliers. They're really, really simple to use. All you have to do is you've got the wire here that you can see. Uh, um, Hannah's got a. Uh, actually, I've just seen Hannah Osborne walking past. How weird is that? Oh, and now <laughs> there is her hands. Um, <laughs> Hannah Osborne's demoing these forwards, I'm pretty sure. And what you do is you're holding the wire. You then, when you can see the handle areas, she's going to unattach that. You can see she's unclipped it. You just squeeze that in and it'll come unattached. You then lock the handle back into place. You can see her doing it now. And that'll just click into place. And then you pull that little silver gauge area back there and that holds those firm. Then with the base section, you're going to put your hands on that base section and pull that backwards into the body and then the pliers themselves will rotate. 
You then hold the handles back and let go. Each time you do this, that wire is gonna twist and twist and twist. Now Hannah, just for demonstration purposes, is doing it quite slowly. But as you can see, you can get up to some really serious speeds with this. And you can wrap lengths and lengths and lengths and lengths of wire in mere moments. So easy to use if you haven't got these before. You, am I right in saying twisting tomorrow? Might be. Might, might be doing the twist tomorrow. Maybe. Not singing it, but I might be doing might it. Might be. But it's the birthday party. It might just be a dance move that we're referring to. It, it it's might hard be. to say. It's a long time since I've done the twist. The twist and shout. £19.95 for you on this today. It's such um, a crack-a-lacking deal for you. Honestly, honestly, it's Bug C 72. Bug C, like Malone. No way, Bugsy. I love it. Bugsy72 for you today. How do you feel about a quick game, everyone? That was useless. Come on, guys. Energy. How do you feel about a game, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've actually set this up to be bigger than it's going to be now, guys. <laughs> How do you feel about a little bit of higher or lower? Yeah? Are we on board with that? Now, let me get my strand out for you. Where is it? This is your aquamarine. Hang on. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Have a little look. This is your multicolored aquamarine. Now, I absolutely adore this strand. Aquamarine multicolored cubes. How fab is this? I don't think I've seen it multicolored. Well, no. You've got the Morganite colors on here, haven't you? Yeah. In the Beryl family. And you've got in here the Heliodor colors in the Beryl family. And you've got the aquamarine colours, of course, on here as well. Now, aquamarine is such a sought after gemstone at the moment. I had a little look around and I'll be honest with you, some of the prices that were coming up, I was quite shocked about. Let's have a look at slide one, shall we? Now, this is higher or lower. Now, Tiffany, you can see, I've written a little bit of blurb up there. Now, Tiffany has come up with a book. Now, it's called the Blue Book because, as we know, they are um, kind of synonymous for working with that colour. You think of a colour, Tiffany Blue will be the colour. I've put a little bit of blurb about this book in the centre. You can have a little look at it. If you have a look online, you'll be able to find quite a few things. But in that book, it's basically highlighting some of the biggest gemstones that are set to be coming up in fashion stakes, in um, the next few pieces. Now, you'll see that a price is up there for one of those rings. Now, I'm going to go to the ring across from it. So the ring opposite, not below, the top right to you guys at home. What are we thinking? We've got 2,450. I'll tell you that the ring next to it is set into white gold. What are we thinking? Higher or lower, everyone? Higher? You're thinking higher. Pete? Higher. Higher! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Alison, were you thinking higher or lower? Oh. For the one across from it. What are we thinking? Oh, I'll, I'll go with the boys. I'll go higher. You're going higher? Yeah. I thought higher as well. Have a little look at the price of this. 2,400, it's lower. 1,850 wow. pounds for that today. No points. Everyone, no points. Now, what about the one below that? The one directly below? Now, if I let you know that that is with 18 karat gold and the aquamarine in it is 9.8 carats. What are we thinking, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Ooh, lower. Higher. 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 Alison? Higher. Higher. Okay, Ryan Pip saying higher as well. Let's see your price today on that. You see at the bottom corner, £2,800. It's just clipped it off there. £2,800, so that is higher. Now, what about yeah. the one next to it? The one next to it, if I tell you this, it, that is a bracelet, so that is slightly different. But the carrot weight on the um, aquamarine there is it's 20-ish carats on that, okay? 
So what are you thinking? Higher or lower than the one opposite it? The one we've just had, the 2,800. What are you thinking, Glenn? Higher. Higher. Lower. Lower, says oh. Pete. Lower. Alison? Oh, sorry. It's all right. Distracted. Higher or lower? <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, we've had a higher, higher, we've had a lower. I'll higher. Go higher again. Higher, OK. Higher. Your price today for this is a tiny... 81,500! Who said lower? Two Who said lower? Uh, Pete, come here, Pete. No. Pete. No. <laughs> no. no. Why did you think that was going to be lower, mate? It's, eight, it's over 81 grand, my love. It's close. I obviously made a massive mistake. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I obviously made a massive mistake. But seriously though, obviously that's just a bit of fun, but doesn't that go to show that Aquamarine, yes, of course, you know, it's different sizes, there's different metals with these, but in the centerpiece of all of these is Aquamarine. And I've got to admit to you, some of these are our Gemporia prices as well. Some of these rings are actually from Gemporia, our sister channel, which just goes to show the amazing prices we're giving and that Gemporia are giving you. And still, even though it's up in the grand two grand region, some areas 81 you're paying it's absolutely amazing now remember the 81 and a half grand um, aquamarine piece that was just over 20 carats worth of aquamarine you've got a hundred and twenty carats worth here in these beautiful faceted cubes in fact with the faceting on these and the shapes on these i'm sure you'll agree that a lot of them kind of reflect some of the rings and some of the pieces that we've just shown you haven't they in the shape and in their design these are from around eight by seven to nine by eight your price today 19 pounds and 95 pence what do you think of doing with these because the shape's so unusual isn't it hang on let me have a look oh these are the cubes aren't they yeah these are fab now i tell you what i would work that with those the square wire i'd actually ma match it with the square wire and have a play on the on that geometrical thing again oh i think They'd that's be fab. a great idea alison you're so imaginative that's so fab but they the, they fit into places and they're, they're quite nice because they'll sit flat against your skin as well. Sometimes the, the corner drilled ones are a bit spiky, whereas they lay flat against your skin. The other thing you could do with them is actually um, almost weave them. Now, I, I'm not a, a bead loom person, so I don't, know, I don't know how big a bead you can take, but I'm assuming you could take them. But I reckon you could do those nicely with the bead loom. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a really good idea. So, but you could have such a great play with them. You could ring set them. You could take a single one and ring set. I like that green bit. You really could. I love that because I love quite proud yeah. gemstones sitting pieces. And I think that's a really nice idea. I've got for you here some memory wire. Now, how do you feel about memory wire? Oh, I, li I, I like it. I've not explored the full extent of memory wire yet. I've used it for what it says on the tin. Yes. But I think there's so much, and, and watching um, other people use it, mm. and, and definitely the guest designers on here, there is so much you can do with it. I just haven't had time to go away and sit down with it. Yeah, definitely. So much you can do with it. There is a lot you could do with this. Now, today I have got this vintage beauty, it's called, and you've got the newest, well, one of the newest members of the Memory Wire family here with that gorgeous colouring of your rose gold. 14 loops on the rings, 14 loops on the bracelets, 10 loops on the neckline pieces as well. You've also got your beautiful findings pack. I love this findings pack. Hey, is this a different finding? Oh, it's that one. It's the one that's got the really gorgeous um, shepherd tucks with that little drop flower detail. Oh, I have those. Let show you. Oh, I had. They're aren't so they sweet. Fab? I love them. Sturdy as well, actually, yeah. these, aren't they? Yeah. It's just your shepherd hook with the little flower detail at the front. Aren't they really cute? And they've got the extra long loop as well, which just saves on yeah. the chance of them falling out as well, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. 
you've got that findings pack of 115 pieces that you have in there as well you've also got three strands here you've got two of your rose quartz in the plain rondelles and on those strands is that 60 carats worth 120 in total at 60 on each and then you've also got this beautiful strand of adventuring which is 155 on there now these are so pretty and delicate again you're saying green and pink you love what do you think of these together yeah they are aren't they spring don't you think it's very spring like color i love those green adventure adventuring mm -hmm. like drops yeah they're so sweet that's a lovely color combination that is it is I it's really natural like it's spring time yeah. it's spring garden yeah. because the the adventuring because a lot of people just thread things onto the memory wire yeah but you can also drop things from it so i'd be tempted to put the the chips on it yeah and drop some adventuring down from it from it i think that's a really good idea have, you know a nice little tear but then i do like drop a necklaces. drop the pieces but that's a really good point you know i think yeah. at first when you start with memory way you do go directly to just stranding yeah but you can because you've got head pins here drop yeah. a few of these on your head pins just you know every third or fourth ones of your rose quartz say yeah just add on one of your head pins with this drop and you've got yourself a beautiful piece there haven't absolutely. you absolutely that's a really good idea alison so let's reiterate you're getting the findings pack you're getting your purple organza bag you're getting your memory wire in the rose gold ring bracelet necklace. You're getting your adventuring and two strands of your rose quartz. The price should be £29.75 for this today, but we're not going to stay there. I'm going to give you a cracking deal discount. Getting ready for the birthday party, £22.95. Every penny we can take off for you, we have done on this vintage beauty bundle. Get your hands on it today. And if you haven't tried Memory Wire before, it is so simple to get yourself started. But the thing we all love about it so much is that it's simple to begin with, but you can go really, oh, yeah. really dramatic. Yeah. There's a lot of places and directions you can go with this, isn't there? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, I've got a little bit of a luxury for you here, mm. Alison. For me? Oh! <gasps> I have a feeling that you're going to adore these. Am I right? Yes. Oh, Alison's bottom lips out. <laughs> Do you like that then? Oh. <laughs> so this is your, oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I, I feel so special when I am holding these. They feel strong. They look so high shine. They're beautiful. Nine, two, five. One mil. In your antiques bronze. Row, your white gold and your silver aren't these brilliant have a look at those oh they wonderful glenn are you shaking the camera glenn i was like that they don't look like they're bouncing to me um you have got a meter of each of these and they're all one mil now 95 obviously it's totally different from your standard 95 means luxury you're you know even if you've got sensitive skin you're less likely to have an issue with this the 95 itself is just such a high quality luxury people know the name they recognize it and then with these two you've obviously got them dipped in extra precious metal to give it this gorgeous sheen this gorgeous metallic effect. The thing with them as well is because you've got the one mil, because it is your 95, the touch and the feel of it is slightly different. It doesn't mimic exactly the way that you may be used to working with say the copper it has got a little bit more malleability to it but at the same time it's really easy to work hard and all you have to do realistically is if you have your piece and you need to strengthen grab it in two sets of pliers and turn it in opposite directions and the internal composition of the wire will change and it'll just work hard in it 925 with wire is a relatively new thing to yeah. us 
Our price that we should be paying today is £50.85, of course, because it's three metres worth and it's your precious metal. But it's designer inspiration. And we're giving you a lower stock amount at this price. £40.85, £10 you're saving on this today. What a spectacular deal for your Silver Supreme. Now, when you're working with 925 Wire, do you have any specific pieces you create? Do you think people view it differently? Yeah, if I've got high-end strands, I'll always try and use 925. So, you know, if you've paid £40, £50 for a strand yes. of emeralds, you know, you want it with the high-end metal. Not that there's nothing against the other, and, no. and you can put it with the other, of course. but I like to put them with, with the high-end. Like pearls, I'll put the pearls with, with sterling. Mm. Um, even if it's just to the point, I mean, I will also use um, the wire to make clasps. If I haven't got any sterling silver clasps, I'll, I'll use it to do that or, or findings. Um, but yeah, I, it just makes it that little bit more special. But I'll try, and, I'll try and be, I am more careful where I use it. Yes. You know, it, it's, it's, it's more expensive than, than, than copper plate. Let's face it, it, it is more expensive than plated wire. So you don't want to be liberally, you know, like I am. Oh, you've got a big roll here. It doesn't matter if you've wasted a bit. It does, you know, think about where you're using it. Plan where you're using it, you know, and, and definitely, definitely save your bits. Mm. Definitely save your bits, 100%. as it were. Yeah. yeah, and you can take those back and, and get um, money for them. Brilliant, that's a really good You know, tip keep a that. separate little, I keep all mine separately and I've got a little tub, obviously not big. I haven't got three big sweetie, sweetie tins, tins no. full, of, full of sterling. <laughs> very nice though it would be. I've got a little jar because <laughs> I'm very, very reluctant to, to waste it. Um, but keep them. But the other thing you can do with all your little bits from it is you can actually melt it yeah so you can melt it down and use it on um if you've got any sheet metal or if you've got any flattened discs or anything and you can use it on that sort of thing so all your little bits don't don't get rid of them but yeah i'd, I'd save it for somewhere special i really would i love the idea look at your face you just love I this know. don't you with a 10 pound saving as well I know. and you've got the three colors which is lovely it is the rose gold i think is beautiful it is really beautiful. £10 saving on this today, honestly. If you want luxury, you've got it here. Um, what, what box did you say, Sweet Pea? I've got some wire and something green in there. <laughs> After that, there's nothing in the boxes. What am I looking for? Hematite. 19. Box number 19. Why is it in there? I don't know. Hematite's a tricky little devil, that's why. It's just rolling about. Whoa! Alison. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's a bold hematite. You always know you've got hematite because it's so heavy so compared heavy. to normal cool gemstones. It's on the skin. Oh, yeah, it's stunning. It? it really, truly is. Three strands here. Do you know what? I feel like I've not brought you hematite in yonks. Ages. Have you seen that carrot weight? 1,175 <laughs> for three strands. Isn't Fab. that amazing? That fabulous. is so fabulous, isn't it? Now, what would you think of doing with these hematites? You can actually use them for quite a lot. They actually go quite nice as well with, with um, your bold colours mm. because they tone it down. But they, they make great gents jewellery as well. Yes. Um, I w well, those little, those little faceted ones you could use. I was going to say the bigger ones I wouldn't tend to put on a delicate piece. Okay, no. Um, but the, the smaller ones you could do. They're, they're great. They're lovely on their own. Again, they go nice with the copper or the antique bronze for if you've got, if you've got a wire work piece you want. Like that. I mean, they, they make great big bold cuffs. Yeah. They do, and you know, you know, you you know, you're wearing them. You can just feel it. Yeah, you really can. Yeah, you can tell. You can feel it. Now, these are so dramatic. This is called luster. After this, 
<laughs> That's funny. Well done, Pip. 280 carats worth of your Rondell 7 mil, 38 centimetre strands, 425 carats of your round 10 mil, 36 centimetre strand, and 470 carats of the hematite in the 10 mil plain rounds. Again, 36 centimetre strand. Gemstone upon gemstone, serious carat weight, totally natural. This is how the gemstone looks in the flesh, really. 1,175 carats worth. What? VP GC 26 is the code the price should be. 17 pounds and 85 pence. But we've only got about half an hour left. I'm getting ready for the birthday. Birthday party tomorrow. The price on these today. 13 pounds and 95 pence for you today. Fabulous, isn't it? But that carrot weight, wowzers. That is so special. Hello, everybody. Who's getting your hands on these four pounds and 65 pence per strand, whacking 36 and 30 centimeter long strands of beautiful natural hematite. Hello to you all. I hope you're having a gorgeous afternoon. Web bids, make sure you are checking out your baskets for me, everyone. Oh, 33 left now. 31, 29 left. Okay, we're gonna have to be really quick on this. Birthday, birthday. This is a birthday strand, isn't it, actually? This is kind of that glamorous birthday strand. Yeah. What are you wearing tomorrow, Alison? Because I'm surrounded by men today. I have no one to ask. What are you wearing for the birthday show? Do you know? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Are you in a colour theme? Are you matching the colour theme of the show, do you know? I didn't know there was a colour no, theme No, well, the neither show. did I. I didn't get the memo until oh, no. yesterday. It was too late. I still haven't got the memo. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Actually, no, this would worried. fit in quite well. well I think it's more the set than anything else, to be honest. Well, I hope so, anyway. 15 <laughs> of these left. That's it. Started off with way more than that. 14, 13, 13 left at 13.95 for you today. Make sure you are all checking out your baskets. Luster after this, 1,175 carats worth of hematite. Hey, do you know what, tomorrow yeah. will be my official six months as a- Oh really? A, yeah, six months of jewelry maker tomorrow. Isn't that amazing? What's yours gonna be? January, February. Mine was March. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you missed Sorry. yours. I missed mine. Oh, you I missed, missed mine. it. Oh, don't worry. We'll share a cake or something. I'll, 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 yeah, I'm not very good with dates. I love that. I'm not very good with Six mm. month anniversary. Six month but anniversary. It's flown. Well, I can say in the last flown? seven months, eight months has flown by. I know. Do you know what else is flying? This bundle. Seven oh, left. Is that all? That's all. Started wow. off with like 40, I'm sure, 40 something. 13 pounds and 95 pence for you today. VP, GC, 26 is the code. 1,175 carats worth. 13 pounds and 95 pence. Six of them left. That's it. Get your hands on them whilst you can. Gorgeous, glittering. Serious. Seriously sparkly. <laughs> Alison. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a combination of yo and yes. Yos. It's a Welsh thing. No, it's not. You just <laughs> made that up. I'm a Cheshire girl. I know that's not no Welsh thing. Your yours. I love that. Let's try again. Alison. Yes. <laughs> I have got two strands here that I think I know I love because they're opal. And I think <gasps> you're gonna love because of the colourway. Tell me if I am right. Have a look at this. Beautiful Peruvian and pink opal. I've got both. Well, I've got both of those gemstones and I adore them. I love the Peruvian opal. Oh my goodness, absolutely me too. Absolutely adore it. It's stunning, isn't it's it? Absolutely. I'm, I'm really got into my opals lately. <gasps> I've, had, I've had some Ethiopian ones, which are amazing. 
but I the, the Ethiopia uh, the Peruvian and the pink brilliant so beautiful look at those together look at those together fabulous they're just exceptional 30 yeah. centimeter strands on each of these 40 carats on each one and you have got the faceted rondelles so they're three by two to six by four on these strands and the strand of the pink the peruvian 30 uh, three by one to six by four 40 carats on each of them i am to be honest uh, completely lusting after these they are so spectacular yeah. they're quite bewitching to me actually they yeah. really really are and to get your hands on faceted opal is quite unusual actually it is. It is. sometimes we'll have just the drops sometimes we'll have the nuggets but to get a faceted rondelles really is quite unusual isn't it it is and those don't you think the peruvian they they they're quite you can do either they could be masculine or you can be feminine definitely. with them definitely They're lovely. totally his and hers these are oh Good. yeah but you could have his and hers definitely could couldn't you Aww. honestly i'm going to be very honest with you today i personally think we've saved the best till pretty much last i cannot believe for two strands of opal as stunning as this with this amount of work today for opal you're going to be paying just 14 pounds and 95 pence isn't that spectacular for two strands of opal alison tell me what changed your mind about opal tell me why oh. you've fancied you know I, working I, with it and loving it i got a strand of peruvian opal yes. and it was drops mm -hmm. oh no i got big rondelles first oh a couple of years ago and i didn't see them very much and i just love them that i i love the tones of them I love the fact that they're all slightly different and but then I love that about natural stones. Very true. Very I, true. Yeah. And they everyone has heard of an opal and they just add that class to your piece. Yeah. You know? You I know, do you love don't that. you only need I've made brooches where I've only used a couple. Yeah. In the brooch. But it just lifts it because it's got opal in it. I do like them. I do as well. Kindred spirits when it comes Indeed. to opal. Indeed. Truly, truly is. £14.95. Get your hands on one or two. And in fact, a lot of you are. QJGC. 65 is your code. His and hers today for you on opal. It's so pretty. It's oh, so it's beautiful. Good. And do you know what? Uh, for opal, for the two strands that is so exceptional there's loads yeah. of you on the phone lines there's loads of you with it in your basket it's, it's, and look at the luster on those oh it's stunning let's have a look there's about 50 seconds wait pip saying on the phone lines don't worry it's well worth it trust me on this for me this is my deal of the day mm -hmm. um do you know what all of these names that are coming up on screen now i hope you've got some gorgeous ideas for these and do you know what honestly if you don't it actually doesn't matter just keep them and adore them and something will spring to mind with these it truly truly will yeah. tracy in cheshire um, i've got Catherine. i've got jeanette i've got karen rita janet belinda kathleen everyone on there everyone else needs to check out the baskets loads of new telephone bidders today hello newbies <gasps> you've come at a great time you have ready for the birthday party tomorrow party party 14 pounds 95 pence for you today wow 20 of you whatever it is you need to check out your baskets to be honest guys you really really do oh my goodness so look what in a round Ooh. oh oh Ooh. pop your glasses on alison no way i'm gone if that's all right uh tell me three oh, words nice. that pop to mind when you look at this watermelon colour <laughs> solar quartz and the one color. of them cannot be watermelon <laughs> <laughs> color <laughs> color yeah shine they're beautiful and variation Oh, variation the, yeah that you've got a lot good. of variety really do don't you i've got i tell you what they remind me of do you know 
when you used to have, have sweets in jars, you know, when you had a proper sweetie shop. Sweetie shop, yeah. Get, they were apple and something, and they were green on one side, the little round balls of sweets. Oh. Do you remember? Well, they were apple something, weren't they? Apple sours. Apple sours, were they? Thank you. Apple sours? I wasn't thinking of that at all. What am they I were, thinking of? They were, they were little pear sort of drops. <laughs> Yeah, I'm they're, thinking they're of pear drops. That's not even the same colour. <laughs> it's not even got anything to do with an apple. A pear drop. <laughs> Is it apple with... and cherry? The apple and cherry sours that you're thinking Yeah, of? They, they, were, they were two colours. They were green on one side and, and, and red, on, red on the other. I know what you mean. Like the um, lollipop uh, yeah. colours. Yeah, but oh, they, were, they were about that many. You're but, right. Sorry. What I are you sorry for? I, I can go through all the sweets. <laughs> I'm, with it, I'm with it on all... <laughs> Oh Lord. <laughs> You've got such bright colours here. Mm. What I will say is when you're looking at this, you're not really kind of getting as much of a colour pop, I would say. No, you're I truly not. You're spring. truly not. I'm gonna bring this to you now, Alison, just oh, to yeah. see. Because I want you to be honest. Yeah. I, I've got double buyers on this. Let's bring your price in before I bring it over. The price today, triple buyers. Wow. I've got two triple buyers, six pounds and ninety-five wow. pence for you today. I'm gonna to bring this over to you, Alison, just because I want you to have a look at the colour for me, if that's all right. Yeah, 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 custom. Just no, because I... the lights in here, I don't think, and the camera don't really don't do, do it justice. justice. Is that brighter oh, to you much, than it was on screen? Much brighter. Yeah, it looked much darker. The, the greens are much brighter. And they the are, reds aren't they? Yeah, definitely. And the reds are cherry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they're, they're darker on the screen. Any that ideas for that? gorgeous. We well, see, I've got like, about three strands of the solar quartz slices. The slices, yeah. yeah. Some with the rough edges and mm. some with the smooth edges. But you've also done the white ones. So I've got some of this colour. The, the watermelon but the, you've also done white ones on the, the show the white ice ones and i yeah. put this with the white ice ones love that idea. yeah because I, I wouldn't put them with with the ones i've got because it's it's too much you'd lose it yes you'd yeah, lose yeah. it but i put these with something white i think they'd look stunning with white quartz and with the solar quartz because you're keeping the connection i think they'd look fab that's beautiful isn't but it but they look fab on their own they look Definitely absolutely agree fab and even i couldn't color, color graduate those <laughs> No, I think you'd be hard <laughs> pushed, wouldn't you? Thank yes, you very stunning. much for that. I just wanted to let everyone know at home exactly what we were working with there because it mm. does look a little bit darker to you. I have got, funnily enough, triple, triple buyers. <laughs> I have got three of your multi buyer triples on this. Um, candy, hazel, lorry, do check out your baskets for me and the rest of you, please. Six pounds and 95 pence, 50 carats worth of your watermelon beautiful solar quartz get your hands on these perfect rounds today <sighs> Alison yo I've got to put my glasses back on yes please <laughs> you're having too many bargains on today I just want you to look at the beauty <gasps> from there. Oh no! And you're here. Are they the double, the double ones? We were the talking double. about those earlier, weren't we? Yeah, we were. But I think they're gorgeous. Can I have a look at those without my glasses? Honestly, oh. genuinely, come on over. Can I? Can I sneak in? Genuinely oh, beautiful. Have here you go. Have a little look yourself. How clear are they? Stunning, aren't they? They are. And do you know, what I adore the movement, the different yeah. ways you move them in the light. Do you know what I fancy doing with them? Because I, I saw the the clear ones, the the white quartz ones. Yes, had on. yeah, I did the clear ones yesterday. And I, because I'm really into my square wire at the moment, mm. and I'd put the square wire around and just do little claw settings on both sides so that it could go either way. How fab would that look? Oh my that goodness! Is stunning, absolutely. A pair of earrings like that, and then they could twizzle either way. How amazing! And what a pendant that is! Pendant. You're and gonna, you're gonna absolutely upset me now, aren't you, with the price? Honestly, I genuinely promise you, I am. Do you know what this? We have got a designer inspiration, lovely um, Sarah. Actually, did oh, with the round yeah, with the ones round one. that we had on last Gorgeous. night. Gorgeous. Have a little look. I've got the drops for you now, but you get the idea, don't you? Now, that was the I chair. know this sound. <laughs> <laughs> it was the chair. <laughs> Do 
I know this sounds silly, but I really hope someone will get this. When you look at this, I'm going to do a little song in the background. What do you think of? Have a little look. <clears throat> Do 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 Yes, Pip! Titanic! Why? 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 I don't know. Because... No! Not because they're as big as an iceberg. <laughs> yes, because it's the heart of the ocean. That's what they look like. You know with that <laughs> necklace that they have, you know that bit that Kate Winslet as an older lady throws mm. it in over the side, doesn't and she? That so bit just after she goes to Leonardo DiCaprio, I will never let go of you, and then just drops him in the water. That <laughs> bit, after that bit. This is that, look Let's isn't look, it? Yeah, 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 because I'm with you. Because they're just so eye-catching. The they, concave cut is just ridiculously difficult to create. I've told you time and time again. It's um, the concave cut is created by concave artists, not lapidaries, they're called concave artists. It takes years and years and years and years and years to perfect this. Once they learn it, they can't go back. They just keep doing that cut time and time again. The majority of the time it's cut on a lathe system and you have to undulate the gemstone itself to create this look. Now a lot of the time, we're saying that this is the double concave, because a lot of the time you'll have a flat table. Mm. But if I just spin this around for you at the side, you'll be able to see there that there's no flat table on this. Both sides are sticking up. Now, can I just have a little bit of quiet time and let's just enjoy the captivation of the light within the gemstone. Look at the amount of light that is caught within there. Even though I'm only turning this a little bit, my hands aren't moving all over the place, the way the light travels through, to me, is just epic. And all the way around as well. Look at that. Almost this per um, peacock burst of colour, isn't it? And the reason you get such a high shine, high sparkle, high in eternal fire and brilliance from these is due to the cut because the light is trapped inside due to the undulating facets around the outside. Now the facets, when we think of facets, you might often think of um, a flat cut, a straight cut, but actually the concave cut is an undulating movement. So each of the facets isn't flat, it's actually concave each of the facets, which is why you get this internal captivation of the light if that makes sense and why you get this outstanding reflection and internal brilliance 35 carats of your lemon quartz did you enjoy the clear quartz we had on yesterday I did in this cut I did and you had that and the amethyst the amethyst I, as that, well I'd love earrings would be absolutely perfect you're so right pendant. you're totally right it's gorgeous <gasps> I can't believe I'm about to do this. Go Yesterday, on. my price for three clear quarts with the concave cut, I'm pretty sure was twenty nine ninety five. I think I think it was about that. In fact, Pip's got yesterday's schedule. Will you check for me, my love? Clear quarts twenty nine ninety five for double concave cuts. Mm -hmm. It was 40 carats, so just five carats extra. That was 29 pounds and 95 pence. So we're losing five carats. What are we thinking? What do you fancy? 28.95? Yeah. Would you prefer 27? Yeah. Okay. Let's not do either of those. Your price today for these. Oh. 24. Oh. 95. They are so clear, they're gorgeous. Rest on your eye clear. They are absolutely stunning. Honestly, I know this sounds odd, but I always think that when you maybe first get into jewellery making or when you're younger and when you actually mm. first think of a gemstone, it's this type of thing that you're imagining, yes. isn't it? Yeah. 
it's the cut stones that you think oh gemstone you think yeah. diamond cut or yes or, yeah totally completely and absolutely i have to say that the concave cut is my favorite cut and the first time i ever saw it my jaw hit the floor not literally but it you know my mouth did drop open and i genuinely do think if you had this on your stall or at your craft fair or gave this as a gift it would have the same effect yeah it's eye-catching very eye-catching it truly truly is honestly magnificent just enjoy these 24 pounds and 95 pence for you on this today totally natural as well this isn't heated to give it no, that it's, yellow it's color this isn't a dye no it's not enhanced at all natural beautifully clear concave cut 35 carats your pear shape loads of baskets need to be checked out apparently what's our quantity now wow i i think a lot of you agree with me out there about this cut i think a lot of you adore this cut yeah. I truly, truly do, uh, because we had way more than that to start off with. I had a sellout yesterday. I'm almost positive of the of the. We did, didn't we, of the concave quartz that court, so we had on yesterday. Twenty of them left. I had way more than that. I think if you're looking for high end, high elegance, mm. this is what you would want. Oh, totally elegant. And what what you don't want to do is completely cage it in at the back because you want that light to be passing through it. So you want almost a frame without filling it in, so so that that light can pass through it. What Def colour are you thinking? I would probably I would probably go with the gold colour. The gold? Yeah, would I you? I would probably go gold or silver. Actually, I'd go a com. No, oh, no, I wouldn't. No. Change your mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go on. Put it next to the others. Silver. I, you could go with the silver. The silver's beautiful. What's it like with the with the um, with the rose? You, it would look lovely with the silver. Because I'm thinking, as you were saying before, doing like a prong effect. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd literally, if we could just jut prong 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 prong. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Both sides. So you'd need two wires going round, going round the flat bit. Mm -hmm. If you two wires going round, and you have your little prongs, and if you've got your the little um, pliers, mm -hmm. the, the U binder pliers. Yes, I know what you mean. You get them perfect, but if you want to do them by hand, do them by hand, you know, either or. But yeah, two round so that you've got prongs on either side. So you'd want eight prongs and then wrap the, wrap the rest of the wire together to secure it. I love that idea. And just keep it very simple. And all you've got is that showing. Yeah. So kind of a little bit like this, just captivating it around the outside. Because you've got, if you have a look, we've got a lovely flat surface there. Yeah. It doesn't come to a point that's a beautifully yeah. flat surface. So you can absolutely put your wire around. Wire wrap around it, can't you? Yeah. Six of these left. If you were very clever, you could get one piece of wire and have the prongs come in from each side. But oh, I would I say it's that. a bit more advanced. <laughs> no, I love that beautiful 24 pounds and 95 pence for you six left is that all that's it now that's all i've got left of these the lips now it's gonna start going again i know <laughs> oh no can you read up there i know no um we've got six people with it in baskets how two. many look at them buying two <laughs> Don't blame them. Wow. Oh, look at them buying two. <laughs> That's a pair of earrings and a few round the neck piece. Mm. Oh, how gorgeous would that look? Love this idea. It's a million dollars, wouldn't you? You really would. Four left, five in baskets, fastest finger first at this point to get this £24.95. I adore mm. these so much. Beautiful. Now, I'm heading over to... Oh. I might bring these with me. No, Becky, come on, move on. Leave yeah, them. Yeah, fetch They're them gone. Over here, Becky. No, no, fetch, sold them, fetch them over. What, yeah. No, no. Let's just, have a little just slip them over. No one Let's will ever notice. Hello. Hello. What a lovely afternoon. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I just know. Just how peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have got notice. for you. So these are just gorgeous. I, I have got for you here Alice and Harry's gorgeous um, rubber tubing pieces. Now, first time you properly worked with it. it how is. was it? It's good fun. It really was good fun. And I, and I've had I've had 
I made a little piece using these. Using your shears? Yeah, a little bit different, the little brown one. Cut little bits out of it. How cool and is that? And actually embedded the, the gemstones into it. That is so cool. It's a bit scruffy because I was, oh, it's the only first time and it was, time. yeah, and it was, it was the first time I've done it. So you could take a little bit more care and do them. You, it's fun. And you know, the, the, if you had some spiky ones, you could have them sticking out. What oh, I know what you mean, like studies. Oh, yeah, that's me oh, thinking. <laughs> or, um, you know, dog, the teeth. The dog tooth. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know what you mean. The arrowhead type. Yeah, yeah. yeah love Anything those. like that sticking out. This just goes to show how just a creative mind, a good idea of colour matching, and you can create something really eye catching. Uh, the copper with that blue is stunning. I think mean, that's so fab. It's so and stunning. And this drop, which I love. I found that in the tub. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Yeah. How have you captivated that in here? Because by the looks of it, it's not wrapped. a drill hole, is it? There is a drill hole in it, but the Beyond. one mil, it, I, don't, I don't know whether the one mil went around it, but it's just wire wrapped. It's just a quick and simple wire wrap around it. And yeah. the same with the necklace. Wow, that is stunning, isn't it? So, yeah. YN at GC30, you had five metres of the rubber tubing in the assorted colours. And I've used very little, very little. You really haven't used that much, oh, yeah, have you? No. Which is great. It goes on for ages. 1995 for all of these different colours and yeah. different thicknesses today. They're beautiful, gorgeous against it's the great skin. Fun. Absolutely great fun. You could, you could, like I say, I've only had a little play, and I've done two. You know, I've used it very, very simply. I'd, I'd have a go at doing all sorts of different things with it. Love yeah. that, Alison. I've got a little text. Oh, right. This says the glasses are on. Hi, are you thinking of rosy apples? Uh, if so, I work for a company who makes them. Uh, Maybe I should be making edible jewellery with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dangerous. Delicious dangerous. idea. Yes, please. Rosy apples, is that what you mean? It, it could be. I honestly can't remember. They go, yeah, apparently that's apparently, what I Apparently, yeah. Not you know exactly what sweets they were, didn't Len you? knows. <laughs> He's all over that. He knows. Yeah. I mm. absolutely adore these pieces you've oh, made. Thanks. And your elephant is just Oh, little Nelly, bless her. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow. What time are you going to come in in the morning? Not necessarily be on. What time in, are you I'm going to come in for about nine. All right, brilliant. I'm, I'm going to get the most out of the birthday experience. Oh my goodness, you're going to have <laughs> so much fun. You're an absolute gem. Oh, tomorrow, I don't know if you've heard, but it's our <laughs> birthday. Um, we have got so many oh, special yeah. things, so many special treats. After the break, wonderful, wonderful Amazing. Hannah Osborne and The Late Show. See you then. Bye. Happy birthday, Jury Maker! Join Jewelry Maker on Sunday the 4th of May for our birthday spectacular. To celebrate, we will be launching our fourth birthday collection DVD. This four disc special features 19 guest designers and 23 different inspirations, including necklaces, bracelets, rings and earrings. Make sure you tune in and don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. The launch of the fourth birthday collection DVD, Sunday the 4th of May on Jewelry Maker. Join resident designer Linda as she guides you through various techniques in Soutache. Get creative with this exciting medium and learn how to braid with round gemstones, how to set and wrap a cabinet.